who your characters are today, and if you could be so kind as well as when you um, describe your character, just to pick a colour for me. Be it red, blue, green, yellow, just just pick a colour, um, and it'll be nice, nice and easy. So, let's start with Redundant. So, uh, my friend, who are you playing today, and what is your colour? Okay, uh, well I'm playing um, a kind of like a roguish swashbuckler mm. called Sebastian Carter, who has decided to go out on you know, like the seven seas and try to seduce and get his fortune wow. all over. And uh, I'll do blue. I'll do blue. blue. I like blue. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Blue. I like that. Um, perfect. Uh, let me get a little splatter here for you and put you as blue. Excellent. Uh, Google okay. Pie, how are you, my friend? Um, and of course, who will we be playing today? Uh, I will be playing. Um... Um, Morak Obama. Morak. Hmm. Morak. Obama. <laughs> As in, like, miraculous? Yes, yes. Okay, Morak, okay. I like it. Um, yep, and uh, uh, favorite color has got to be black. Okay, you're going a dark, dark, brooding black. I like it, cool. Um, Alright, let's go to Brian. So, my friend, um, Tell me, who are you playing today, and what is your what's your color for the day? Well, I am playing uh, Dennis Vanier. Uh, he is a paladin, so he is a good character. I'm going good this time, folks. Not going evil. I thought about it. Not not today. Not today. The evil to side. Not the today. evil cloak is in the is in the closet right now. <laughs> for now. Um. So that so that's who I'm playing as today. Remind me of his name. Deneth, D-N-E-T-H. Perfect, perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, and finally, Sid, who will you be playing today, sir? Oh wait, for you forgot my favorite color. Oh, your color, of course. Yeah, what's your color? My favorite color will be crimson. Cr oh, I like it. That makes <laughs> that makes sense. All right, it makes, sense. <laughs> makes perfect sense. Okay, so uh, Sid, my friend, who will you be playing today, sir? Well, I'm going to be going with an old standby of mine, Corin Rathburn. He is a former soldier and uh, very much not a good character this time. See, I I tried good characters, but deep down in my core, I just feel that I'm just there's just a little bit of a villain trying to get mm. out. So I'm trying to encourage that a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, you should and see my donations. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's your color for today, sir? Uh, let's see. Color. We should probably choose a color. You've got a green or a um, yellow you could go with? Or a... Let's see. Uh, orange should be a little bit disparate from all the other colors. Okay. Orange. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. So, let me bring the color up there. It's not on your guys' faces. So, um, you can... You may notice, chat, that each of these, these uh, folks have a color. Um, next to their name. And uh, I did mention before that you guys uh, in the chat would be playing along with us. Now, uh, the way which you guys will play along is that you're going to choose a, a faction, basically, um, on on the ghost ship that these guys will be upon. Now, each faction is, of course, denoted by color. Um, so, Sebastian's faction is blue, Mirak's color is black, Denif's color is red, and uh, Corin's color is orange. Now, you can uh, be crew members um, and, indeed, uh, employees of each of these men aboard the ship, um, by simply changing your uh, color in chat. So you can do that by going down the bottom and you can edit appearance and name color. So for instance, if I wanted to be red, I'd be red, like so. Um, or if I wanted to be blue, then I would be blue, like so. There's a little gear down the bottom and you can change your color to support your favorites uh, amongst, amongst the uh, crew. So pick! Pick a crewman out, and if you mutiny, or you change, then you should let us know, um, if you wish to, uh, change faction. Of course, this doesn't have, uh, too much effect on the game as a whole, but it will be fun to see you guys supporting a favorite team, uh, and, uh, murdering one another in chat. So, obviously, we'll be mm. playing a D&D &D 5e, uh, level 1 game, where you guys can, um, can play along. Um, and you guys in the chat will be playing along basically by just telling me what you guys are doing So um, we'll, we'll have each of the players turns and then we'll have a chat turn in which the the crew of the ghost ship get to tell me what they're doing So you could say uh, I help out Sebastian uh, By handing him the flintlock or I load his flintlock or uh, I dive crazily off into the ship uh, Attempting to fight the enemy crew. It really could be anything uh, And we'll basically just go ahead and describe and we'll play along with you guys whilst we're doing this So we're adding a little 
team element. And of course, um, of course, there will be rivalries amongst the team. But for the most part, aboard the ghost ship, you guys are supposedly ally allies. Um, so you're some. I mean, it's allies in the sense that you're all pirates and you want to be the leader, the captain of the ship. Um, and it's known as the ghost ship because you guys can, uh, very similarly to the Flying Dutchman in Pirates of the Caribbean, you've got to sail underwater and then come up again. Uh, it's, a uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucking cool ship that you guys have managed to, uh, get your hands on. Uh, and currently you guys are all kind of members of the, the crew, but there isn't a real captain. You guys just kind of work through a weird democracy in the sense that you guys haven't... <laughs> You guys haven't killed each other yet uh, to dom to to kind of make one of your uh, make one of you guys the kind of dominant captain. So um, that's the kind of plan for you guys. Each of you has a has a plan to overthrow the others, um, but at the same time, you may need to work together in certain situations uh, to accomplish uh, great pirating deeds of daring do. So um, we'll get into uh, a little bit more about who your characters are in a second here, but. Um, before we do that, let's let's uh, remind folks in the chat some uh, some even more ways that you can interact with the show today, even more than uh, than usual. Um, well, if you can't choose black, then go for like a grey, I guess. We go for a grey uh, if you want to change your name to that colour. Um, I'll change Google Pies on there so we'll have a little bit great. So yeah, um, if you guys are new to the stream, hit that follow button and join us. And when you do so, you guys get to decide. Uh, anything which happens in our story as soon as we hit 20 followers today. So, um, no, sorry, 30 followers today. We're only seven away. So, um, means the dong shows up to it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that could happen in the viewer decision. So, um, yeah, if you haven't followed yet, hit that button and do so in seven followers time. You guys get to fuck with these guys and throw anything at them. It could be a kraken. could be enemy pirates. Uh, it could be... That they're all sent off into cyberspace. Who knows? Um, so get following. Also, if you haven't tweeted, here is a tweet for you guys to retweet. 20 retweets time. Get another viewer decision. And if you haven't checked out the Patreon yet, then you can do. And you can support all that we do here in Encounter Roleplay. Um, yeah. And that's basically it. You can, of course, donate to affect our game. You can give players nat 1s, nat 20s, wild magic surges on a D10,000 wild magic table. And uh, a whole lot more. A lot more worse things than that could happen to them. So um, let's uh, let's dive into the adventure, I suppose. Let's uh, let's see what we can uh, get going here. So um, before we start, actually, let's uh, let's describe the ship which you're on. Uh, it, lovingly entitled the Ghost Ship, seeing as you guys aren't actually ghosts, you just like the reputation uh, of being known as ghosts. You guys come into harbor, you destroy everything in sight, then you sail back under the water. <laughs> Uh, and away. Unfortunately for you guys, however, uh, you, there are limits to your uh, piratical ship. Uh, it can only go underwater once per 24 hours. Um, so using that special ability is something that you guys all need to agree on um, and uh, it can only happen once. So it needs to be in a, you know, a situation which is uh, dire or, uh, you know, very, very, uh, I don't know, you need to get out of somewhere real quick, maybe. Um, Question, what happens yeah. if we have that one asshole that's like, eh, I don't know, but everybody else agrees. <laughs> then the, Are you going to be that asshole? Then the, uh, No, I'm a good guy, remember. The pirate code of this ship forbids you, uh, you from traveling unless the four of you all agree, seeing as you're in equal uh, opposition at this point. <laughs> Orange is the new one. So yeah, you'll have to agree on it, unfortunately, um, which will lead to some interesting moments of diplomacy, trying to convince other players that you need to go underwater uh, and escape from the situation at a certain time. Um, also, uh, so you've got a large crew. Currently, you've got 68 members in your crew, um, although you have different uh, factions in them. So, you know, uh, Sebastian has a bunch of uh, followers, Mirak has a bunch of followers, and of course, one of the uh, the greatest followers amongst them is Insomniac's Zinc Faker Ren for three months. I salute you, sir, the most gentlemanly of scholars. Good to see you, my man. Um, a great pirate, if ever I knew one. Um, so, yeah, whilst the crew as a whole work together, you've all got your own little factions. The current, like, quest that you guys are on, or the current kind of uh, foul deed that you've set yourselves uh, up to, uh, to achieve, um, is that you are hunting down a, uh, what should be some very nice, cozy merchant ships. Um, there are 
supposedly going to be at least five of them, but your ship, uh, the ghost ship, should be easy able to take them as long as they're not with a caravan of any, uh, you know, any, like, uh, warships around. And we've got another player of us as well. We've got Reflex with us. How's it going, dude? Can you hear us and can you say things? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> good, good to see you, man. <laughs> so we have a we have it's another faction. Wondering. We have another faction joining uh, last last minute here. So, um, so Refix, who are you going to be playing, my friend? Um, I'm going to be playing uh, Marsadi Duskwalker. Ooh, Marsadi mm. Duskwalker. Okay. And what's your color going to be? I'm going to go with um. I don't know. Let's, let's try. Uh, let's try purple. Purple. Uh, that's Ooh, a very purple. strong color in this chat. Very strong indeed. Um, Team purple. The color of the dong. I like it. Um, <laughs> 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 Thanks. Let's make you. Let's find you a purple here in a second. So tell us a little bit about Masadi first of all here. Uh, Masadi, she is. is well, she used to be a killer for hire, uh, an assassin, if you will. She has uh, extensive ties to. Uh, a specific ring of assassins and thieves and uh, backhanded traitors. Mm. And uh, she is looking for spoils. Uh, I like it. Cool, cool. Uh, so you can change your faction color to purple if you would like to. Uh, if you would like to. So um, we have our Denef, Corin, Marsadi, Mirak, and Sebastian aboard the ghost ship. Now, to begin today's adventure, we're going to have a long, sweeping shot of the oceans as you guys just kind of uh, sailing along your tattered sailed uh, barnacle encrusted ship with your uh, rather terrifying crew aboard, a fearsome crew. Now, I want to know, first of all, what you guys uh, roll is aboard your ship. So are you, um, you know, the, the cook? Uh, do you sit in a crow's nest? Are you a quartermaster? Are you a first mate? Obviously, there's no captain currently, um, so you might all be first mates for all you know. Um, so let's start below us. So Sebastian, uh, tell us a bit about your character and their role upon the ship. Um, Sebastian is, uh, well, he likes to think himself as a charmer. The only reason he's basically liked by anyone is that he's, he's a bit of a charmer and he's, he's a quite likable person. Yeah. Um, unless, of course, um, he's either betrayed you or um, tried to seduce your wife um, or husband. He's not particularly fussy. Um, right. so, um, so, yeah, uh, his role on the ship, uh, no one actually knows. He does <laughs> stuff here and there. Uh, you know, he swabs the decks occasionally, but he does tend to skive off a lot. He, he, <laughs> he kind of like, he finds little things about the ship, so he, he, he blackmails people into doing his chores for him. Right, I like uh, it. So no one truly knows what he's there for, but um, they can't seem to get rid of him. Nice, very nice. Okay, cool. Uh, so, good guy Pi, tell us a bit about Mirak and also um, his role upon the ship. Uh, so Mirak is the uh, he's he's the guy who does all the talking. He's the gotcha. political stand, standard in it. Right. Um, he believes if you don't run for the ship, then you don't even stand up. You stand a chance of losing, but you don't stand a chance of winning. Right. He also believes our destiny is not written for us, for it's by us. And he believes that he is the hope this ship needs. He is the change for the ship. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, and thank you to Tool Score, which lands nine pounds. It says free nat twenty. So hashtag Team Black. Tremble before the epicness of Mirak and his miraculous hair follicles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tool Score. <laughs> thank you very much, my friend. Uh, give my gold, buddy. Uh, and uh, yeah, you got that free nat twenty. So at any point that you would so desire to, Mirak. All right. So that's Team Gray slash Black. Uh, team Red in the Crimson Corner. We have Denif. Tell us about yourself, sir. Uh, and you're muted. Drink. <laughs> Luckily, I got a drink. Unfortunately, it's not alcohol. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no worries, man. Considering I just learned that we're pirates, um, very little preparation. But on the slap side of things, uh, he Denneth was a uh, for, uh, former nobleman from God knows where. Jack can pick. Please be gentle with me, chat. <laughs> um, nice. came, al came along, he, he's, uh, he wanted a little adventure, so he 
went from where he, where he was before as yeah. a noble paladin to a pirate. How that happened? Chat, you decide. He, he could be a holy pirate. A holy pirate. There you that, that would that would definitely work. <laughs> what's his uh, what's his role upon a ship? Considering he's a little bit more of a weapons mm. person, um, some sort of a uh, armory kind of per uh, kind of expert, I guess you could say. So, so he's in charge of the arms, um, yeah. as it were. Cool. All right. Awesome. Uh, and Corin, what about yourself? Well, Corin was shanghaied by this group of miscreants and misfits a few months ago to be the ship's carpenter. Very large, very muscular, and none too bright. <laughs> Isn't that a ship right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So <laughs> I like it. Uh, yes, hello to the RPG players of Brazil. Good to see you guys. Um, Alright, uh, Revix, tell us about Marseille and uh, how a roll upon a ship. Uh, Marseille is... What are we? Uh, is... Quartermaster isn't taken, is it? Uh, no, Quartermaster isn't taken, no. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that seems fitting. Uh, uh, she's going to be the quartermaster. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, she's part of a kind of assassin's group, I seem to remember. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, um, you guys um, find yourselves aboard uh, the ghost ship. This fight is fine afternoon. Um, and you are... You know, just hunting along the trail of these merchant ships, and uh, you're just waiting for any opportunity to to, to hunt them down, essentially. Um, and you actually see, coming across the horizon, you know, someone shouts down from the crow's nest, "Ship sighted, captains!" Um, and uh, <laughs> he's, they're very confused currently as to how the democracy works. They're, they're trying to understand it, but you know, it's difficult for them. Uh, and you spot a black sailed ship upon the horizon. This is uh, the the ship of the famous, fabled Greybeard. Uh, he's Blackbeard's granddad, and uh, he's getting a little getting getting a little older, but still a very fearsome pirate nonetheless. And you know, you guys have had a few dealings with him. He's not really someone that can be trusted uh, because he will turn on another pirate if. It seems like a, a good thing to do for him, uh, but at the same time, you know, he's not a like a navy ship, so he's not an immediate threat to you guys. Um, so, uh, so what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> I'd probably say leave him, leave him alone. I mean, he's not doing anything. I don't think he'll have any good booty on that ship. So I say we leave him alone until he tries to attack one of our prizes. Yeah, I I just fixed this railing. If you go shooting up the ship again, it's going to get busted again. And I'm going to have to fix it again. My fellow uh, ship... I don't ship, think that's good. Um, we must know his political standing within this, uh, within his ship. I believe that is a very important thing for us to uh, understand before we interact with this man. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, he is coming towards you guys, after all. Uh, he seems to be on a, a course to see you guys. Oh, he's going to... Oh. Mm. He mm. seems to be on the intercept course. I, I'm going to bring something. out... I'm going to bring out my spy glass and have a look and see if he's got, like, you know, he's raised the flag or he's got gun ports open that he's actually hostile. <laughs> okay, cool. We're only a perception check. And, of course, what's <laughs> happening... Uh, this uh, hamster is mopping the deck. Um, <laughs> there's, a, a, there's a tavern when she was flirting with the other followers. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Perception. <laughs> so feel free, guys, in chat to let us know what you guys are up to whilst we're uh, playing through this. We'd love to know. <laughs> All right, let me see. Perception with the spyglass. Was, uh, was doing that... Uh... Eight. Yeah, you, I mean, they're pirates, they have weapons out, <laughs> but but they don't have, like, you know, cannons rolling out or anything, uh, they don't have, the, like, a, the pirate flag up for, for no, give no quarter, flag isn't up or anything, so... Okay. Yeah. Alright, in that case, uh, I, I, I kind of bring it down or anything like that, and it goes, I'm going to put on my best jacket, and then head downstairs to find a nice, like, this kind of, like, long, flowing, red kind of, like, um... 
coat mm. that's kind of got fluffy things on the side as well. So you would say you're a red coat, is what you're saying. Yeah, red coat, yeah. I like it. Well, yeah, I, I stole so. a red coat from someone. From someone. <laughs> <laughs> from someone, I like it. I think it was Dennis, actually, at one point. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might have been. Who knows? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... I don't know if I'm in Dennis for a, a very specific red ja jacket for one, uh, from what, to put it into a assist in one of my speeches. Uh, I never saw that red jacket again. Yeah. Omer, Omerak. Um, <laughs> um, well, then while he, well, then while he's going to get a jacket, you know, I'm actually going to, if I, I'm going to, if you don't mind another perception check, looking to see, like, if he's, if Greybeard's, like, waving at us, or, like, if there's, like, one of those, uh, one of the, one of those signal flags. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, and that's trying to signal us. Yeah, Greybeard doesn't appear to be waving at you, but as he, as he gets closer, you see like a white flag is up, so I don't mean any harm. Um, and um, you uh, you see that Tem Templar's singing from the from the sails again, uh, and singing some crude pirate shanties to to lift the spirits of the crew. Um, as uh, the kind of their ship kind of pulls parallel towards you, uh, and as it's kind of like docking, plank lowered, uh, and you see this old, quite, you know, quite big guy, um, step out. He has indeed got his growing beard of all sorts of things, you know, probably alive in it still. All sorts of, like, food stuffs are being caught in here. There's probably a few things crawling around. He's got the, the classic captain's, uh, hat on, uh, the tricorn, uh, and he's got a big saber on his hip, uh, and he says, Well, 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 if it isn't the ghost ship, who be the captain of this here vessel now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my captain, I fight. I do the most talking uh, here, so uh, next, next, next to my my blue, my my red cloudy coat. I don't know what you're talking about, lad. But you don't seem to be the captain around here. None of us has a captain's hat. And he, uh, oh, thing. my hat! And I run downstairs <laughs> to get my hat. He, uh, yeah, he, he doffs, he doffs his own hat uh, as a symbol of his pirate kingship, uh, and uh, he says, uh, "Well, uh, I'll wager out in these waters after the merchant vessels round here, right?" Uh, Could be. We can either um, confirm or deny. These <laughs> I like booty. <laughs> Well, if you're looking oh, for too. booty, my friend, then it are it ain't gonna be with those vessels because only the other week they were taken up by someone else, a group of pirates, a new confederacy, call themselves the Black Sails. They're taking oh. all of our booty and plunder. Oh. What is their political standing? Are they liberals? Uh, They're Nipples? What? Nipples. Nipples, um, uh, I, nipples I, I, don't, I don't see any nipples. There's no oh. nipples around here, lad. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid uh, so. But no, they are, well, perhaps you could call them liberals, because they're taking all the plunder and sharing it amongst themselves. What kind of <laughs> savages do that? Not piratical at all. Are they not sharing it with themselves? Like, not between themselves? They're sharing it with each other! <gasps> I know! They're taking the gold and booty, and they're giving a piece of booty here, and they're giving a lip bar booty over here, and there's booty <gasps> everywhere! Where it should be with one captain, as we all know. Yes, of, of course, I... <laughs> None of these words I, even make sense to yeah. me. We should carry them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds as if these men need... A bit of a lesson. I think you'll make a great captain one day, Corrin. Uh, but yes, <laughs> indeed, Denif, I would say that they need a good lesson in pirating. Hmm? Good pirating lesson. Well, you see, it just so happens that they're on their island right now. They're on their free socialist island called <laughs> Tuba. Great cigars. Great cigars, I hear. And currently, they're living it up with all their booty everywhere. And they're not quite, well, 
prepared for an assault, say from two vessels. Mm -hmm. Are you proposing that we share and partake of the attack? Did you just suggest sharing on the ship? I did not suggest, no! No. no, all I mean is that we share in the death of these guys, and then oh, we take okay. the plunder for ourselves. Okay, because that's not the liberal pirate way. The liberal pirate way is to share the pain and take everything for yourself. That's I don't. The truly I don't know about any of that, but I ah. do know where we can find the island of Tuba, and I do know that we could sneak in unawares if we were clever. Mm. Interesting. And they Not do have clever, a lot. But I like killing. Uh, well, Corrin, that's, that's all you need, really, <laughs> as a pirate. <laughs> so what do you say? I mean, there doesn't appear well, to be a captain. Well, uh, let's let's talk about uh, how you how we get in first, because I don't fancy. You say you have a way that we can sneak in. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to more than that. Well, well, let's, uh, <clears throat> the thing is, we're, we're not too certain about how to get in. However, there are members of your crew who do know how to get in. So, crewman, how are we going to get on to the island of Tortuga? Please, raise your voices as to some ideas. If you could, if, if there's some kind of chat room for such a thing, this would be the perfect time to suggest an idea about how we could get inside. I think I, they go around the grog barrel and discuss such things. Aye, all around the grog barrel for a discussion, I say, yeah. Except from that a really broy looking guy on the uh, on the ropes, he's always up there. He's, uh, yes, come down from there, bro-dan. <laughs> Bro-squall. Bro-squall, there he is. Indeed, with your sea shanties. Uh. <laughs> so, but since we're not clever, we'll have to find another way, indeed. Uh, the... The Greeby looks over to two shy and says, Stop eavesdropping on me! And reporting back to that Marcedy. Hey! <laughs> Marcedy, you've been rather quiet there. Tell us, what are your thoughts on this whole scenario here? I am not certain yet. I will uh, make my opinion known once I have determined it. You're creepy as fuck, you know that. <laughs> yes, that is what I do. Mm. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Trust, uh, trust us. He was like this when we met. See, I, I like that one's idea. The catapults. Catapults are good. Like yes, catapults. Uh, Hamster it's says... It's a very interesting way. We should bring catapults from the hole for some ballistic shenanigans. Yar. That sounds like a mighty fine idea. We do have some catapults down below. If we could bring them, raise them aloft onto our ships and fire them onto the island as a, you know, a ballistic... Warfare at first. That that could definitely work. Long range warfare. And hmm. then bring out the long cannons as well. We soften them up like how you have to beat up a turtle shell before you get to the meat. Oh, is that how you do it? So that's what happened to Turty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, of course you and uh, uh one of the one of the crewmen raised up his voice and says, Hey, we raised that sea rack Captain Will supply last week and it's full of corsets. I say we done them, make ourselves up as pretty lasses and charm our way in. I like his idea. I like his idea. Uh, I think I look fabulous in the corset. That's a very liberal way. That's we quite... Looks down at himself. To, uh, to express ourselves. I would make a very ugly woman. Yes, you would. Enough. Yes. As long as you have the freedom to pretend you're an ugly woman, then that is all that is matter. <laughs> Well, and I, the to pretend to be an ugly woman and take our gold and him on this ship. I think he's on to something there, actually. Perhaps we could have a a catapult team, and the other team could go in with the corsets. So if the corsets go wrong, we've got the cannons and uh, the catapults Ooh. to back us up. I I have an idea. Oh, we dear. take the corsets. And we fire them over there and the catapults right and then and then when they're trying to figure out what's what why in the hell what are these things that we're throwing at them we use that as a distraction to sneak up on them and kill them all uh, okay so the uh, the first idea it is <laughs> yes so we'll go with my plan instead i uh, yeah good great input Karin. great input i 
excellent mind on this one. <laughs> and he kind of leans in. He kind of like looks over to you guys. He's like, he's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> I, I, th I think he got hit by one too many planks as he was repairing the ship. Oh, yeah, very oh, that did happen. Well, we did have that no. storm, what was it, three weeks ago, and I thought I saw him get hurt pretty bad. Yes. <laughs> very well. Well, uh, in that case, I say we set sail for the island of Tuga, Tuba and uh, see what we can do with these corsets here. Well, uh, I'll be sailing alongside ye, so I'll see you there. And you gonna... Oh, would you be donning a corset too? Uh, perhaps I'll stay back with the catapults. I feel like you're more corset worthy than I. Oh, okay, very well, very well. I'll go down and pick my very best. Good, good man. That you do that, you do that. Good idea. And uh, and uh, he says, uh, well. I'll I'll see you on the other side then, and he starts to head back onto his ship, um, to uh, to sail away, uh, to lead the way off to the island uh, of uh, Tuba. And show you guys the uh, the correct passage. Now, obviously, once he's gone, there's some deliberating to be done aboard the ghost ship. Um, do you want to get there quickly? Do you want to use your underwater uh, ability to? you know, uh, arrive unannounced, uh, or do you want to save that? Um, anything, really. Yeah, we'll change Google Pie to green, seeing as uh, black didn't yeah. work too well, so we'll change it to green. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just because we don't, we don't have access, not everyone has access yeah. to yeah. black. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's because the dictatorships of the North Korea have the limiting our black supply. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> So, uh, what are you guys, yeah. um, what are you guys up to, basically? Are you, um, are you following after him immediately, or are you gonna try and find the merchant ships that have supposedly already been taken down? Uh, all up to you guys, really. I think we should do a corset count to ensure that we have enough for everyone who is going to shore. If we don't, we attack a merchant vessel to grab the corsets and other booty, and then head towards the island. Hmm. I still thought my idea was better. You think every idea you think is better? <laughs> it's because it is better. No, that's not free speech. And that's what I find for this ship is free speech. Dear Lord. <laughs> it's a miracle we do any pillaging at all. It really is, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> All right, so a corset count is uh, begun. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> of course. So, well, uh, obviously that isn't something that you guys as captains do. That's something that your crewmen do. So, uh, each each crew, uh, could you please uh, begin counting your corsets uh, and let us know how many corsets you have? Uh, and of course, we'll uh, we'll see how many corsets each team has um, at the. Uh, in fact, until you guys can do exclamation point roll, uh, and we'll uh, we'll see out of twenty how many corsets your guys' team has um, to to use, um, and of course we'll uh, we'll see that along the way. So you guys are traveling, uh, following the dread captain Tuba, uh, Greybeard, uh, Greybeard towards Tuba rather, um, and so. Um, yeah, you guys are beginning to count corsets, you know, get your pirating mood underway, get the, the sea shanties going. Um, when a few things might happen. So, you guys are traveling for a while to Isle of Tuba, so we're going to do a bit of travel mechanic as we like to hear, to have some little fun scenarios that could happen along the way. It looks like uh, Mirak has around six corsets. Um, it looks like... Uh, who's blue? Sebastian... Has at least 15 corsets to his side. Well, well I have to have many. That's, you know, I'm, you know. It's pretty impressive. Oh, wow. uh, the <laughs> purple team of Master D have at least eight corsets with you guys. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank you to Giant Flower for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. 
So what we're going to do is have you guys pick a little scenario that could happen uh, along your travels along the 17 seas. So it could be that you guys run into uh, a little merchant vessel and you get a plunderer. It could be that there's a storm and you have to, you know, brace the mainsail uh, and uh, undergo the storm. Really anything you guys can think of, a uh, fun little scenario that could play out. It could be something as simple as you guys are running out of food, you need to stop and get food and barter for food. So let's start with uh, Redundant. I'm not eating yeah. the corsets. <laughs> no, 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 of course not, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he says, way, so. a, a bit of <laughs> stitching coming out of his mouth. Oh no, <laughs> we'll need that. <laughs> uh, so Sebastian, um, what, uh, and this will be a little scenario that your crew can play out in the chat as well. So what oh, scenario do the, do the blue team run into here? Okay, so um, essentially, uh, with the blue team, mm. uh, we uh, stop off um, as we're sailing along, and it, it's a fairly long journey. Uh, there's a small island just off the uh, port bow, and um, which has a little tavern there. No. And I suggest to the crew, why not we have, uh, you know, a, a restock the rum supplies uh. and perhaps get a little drink here and there, you know, just before the big fight. All right. What do you think? Excellent, yeah. All right, so, Blue Team, what do you say? Stopping off at a tavern, raising a drink? If so, raise some drinks, um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you get to in the tavern. So, when you enter this little tavern, uh, there's a lady at the bar, uh, and she says, Oh, hello, boys. Welcome I go in. Up to, so, sorry, I go up to her, and I've got the hamster in my hand. I go, Hello, do you like my hamster? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's a very wrathful little hamster you have there, and she starts to... The pet hamster of Raph. Hmm. There we go. Could uh, we have two? Uh, how many of my crew are coming? I need to know. I need to see how many are coming. I know there's at least one. There's two. Yeah, you got, you got... we have at least five rums. That should uh, be enough. Yeah, five <laughs> rums. Five rums it is. <laughs> it's Cheryl. <laughs> five oh. rums it is, and she's kind of starts pouring. Uh, so tell us, tell me, where are you going? She's like oh, holding the, the hamster currently. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going on a rather dangerous adventure oh. where I may not even come back alive. Oh. So it's really your last port of call here? You could say that, yes. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to spend some time alone with the hamster here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh, I, 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 I never get in, in front of my crew's ability to uh, have some alone time, so... <laughs> You're more than welcome. I mean, if you would like some company, uh, I'm more than welcome. <laughs> if, you'd, if you'd like some company, I'm more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I speak very good England, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a trained pirate, I can tell. Oh, excellent stuff. Um, she heads into the back room uh, with uh, the hamster, and she leaves, leaves the door open for you, Sebastian. Um, for, for later on. Um, I, I, I take the bottle of rum and go in and things happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord. Fader Trainsy who lays five pounds. He says a formidable spider named the good guy cream pie spider of Refixia attacks. Its webbing is custard like and opaque in colour. Dear Lord, thank you, Trainsy, my oh. friend, uh, for that. Um, so um, as... but also, Bird can come in if, as well as he wants. If he oh wants yeah, to. yeah, he wants He's to proposition. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, he propositions the Lady of the Night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you guys begin to to head off into the back room, the blue team, um, as uh, you guys suddenly see this many-legged. Uh, cream-filled spider uh, begin to kind of very large chitter towards you guys. It's coming like across the ceiling uh, from above, and um, yeah, it's it's not looking too good for you at the moment because it's it's just coming out of nowhere. And she's like, "Ah, it's back! It's back! Help me! Save me, blue team!" I I sniff the room. Well, it smells all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I pull out my uh, I pull out like some two daggers. And um, I tell God, men, let's show this. Are you sure we're not hallucinating? Can everyone else see that? It, it seems like everyone else can see it. Like, ah, Captain, we, we see it. Uh, what do we do? Someone get a slipper, a shoe, hit it, hit it. All right. So, Blue Team and chat, what are you guys getting up to? Uh, how are you going to defeat the... The cream filled spider of Refixia? Uh, the good guy cream pie spider, uh, which is... Uh, Going towards you, and go ahead, Dennis. 
I was gonna say, apparently Hamster is saying that he's jumping team. Oh, no. So, you've, yeah, so... You've uh, lost a crewman. <laughs> Sebastian, how do you feel? In that case, I pick up the hamster and throw it at the spider. Oh my... <laughs> 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 Alright, roll me 1d20 plus your dex bonus for a hamster attack. Uh, okay, plus my dex. Let's have a look. <laughs> Why is Ranger? Ooh. Convert Corsair into Slingshot, aim rum bottle, fire. Oh, a 19. A 19, damn straight. So you send the red team hamster, uh, the den of hamster, off into the spider as it lands and starts to just kind of attack uh, the spider. And this guy's just <laughs> trying to get his kind of uh, pincers uh, on to, uh, to <laughs> towards it. Um, so it's uh, it's definitely distracted. If Sebastian, you want to attempt to uh, defeat it somehow. Or you yeah, I'll, um, him uh, you see that, I'm just uh, gonna try and hit it with, like, big, uh, are there, like, any boots there, like, really big heels? Oh, yeah, something? yeah, big, big booties. Yeah, I'm gonna get a boot and just run at it, hit it constantly like that. Bom, bom, if I hit bom. the hamster, <laughs> then, uh, eh. <laughs> more's the better. Yeah, more's, <laughs> exactly, more's the better if I hit the hamster. Nice. But, yeah. All right, so, uh, roll I me, like uh, that hamster. roll me, like, a, an attack <laughs> roll, um, and we'll just okay. see what you, uh, just like a basic hand-to-hand -hand attack roll here. Okay, let me just... What's that? So yeah, you see that bird is converting his course into a slingshot, he puts a rum bottle in it, fires off, it's got a kind of Molotov cocktail effect as it's burning up the, uh, <laughs> the spider at this point. It's pretty good. A 23. A 23. Pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Um, so you start to, um... Let me get this up. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, you start to uh, just beat it with your giant boot, and you start to squelch it down uh, into the uh, into the spider, and it begins to kind of like uh, you hear it kind of screaming out in spider gibberish, uh, particularly painful um, <laughs> language and and little known language uh, begins to uh, kind of scream out in agony as you hit it with the boot. The uh, the Molotov cocktail, of course, it all out in together into a rather painful experience. <laughs> For the uh, the spider, um, however, there is one member of your chat, uh, of your uh, your crew, uh, who fall, um, and we're gonna we're gonna find out who that is here in a second. I'm gonna bring up my um, I've got a I've got a wheel of fate. Um. Oh dear! I hope it's the hamster traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring up a wheel of fate here, so we'll see. Oh lord! There we go. We get this little chat. We'll roll. Oh. We'll roll to see uh, who is. I don't know where it's gonna pop up actually. Um, I was gonna name the hamster Jack. Who's <laughs> taken down? Let's see if we get a roll here. It's actually Templar. Templar Warden from oh, the no. the other team. <laughs> from the purple team, I believe, is Templar. Is he green? No, he's a good guy Pice team. Uh, he takes a few hits here. Um, oh, wow. As, uh, you know, managed to sneak his way into the room, it seems like, uh, to fall early at night. But you do take down the spider. Unfortunately, Templar, how do you how do you fall, Templar? You may not be dead, you may be wounded, but uh, describe to us what happens to you. All right, so that's a little boot, blue team in council as you guys, uh, she, you know, the lady of the night begins to, you know, very quickly leave. Uh, <laughs> she, she does not want anything more to do with you guys. Um, I think at that time, Corrin walks by and goes, what? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, carry on. Wait, 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 wait. We don't, I don't even get to sleep with her after saving her from a spider. It, she is out of here. She is not about I it. I feel cheated. Yeah, you, you definitely are. <laughs> I saved her life. Yep. It's obviously the hamster's fault. It is. It is. I'm going to step on the hamster. <laughs> the hamster, what do you do in, res <laughs> in response? I'm imagining he's dodging out of the way. So good guy Pi, Mirak, and the green team. Uh, green team in chat, raise your uh, drinks to let us know who you are, of course. Uh, and Mirak, um, what is your little scenario that you run into here? Um, okay, so... As a liberal, we, we always search for freedom and the uh, yeah. and freedom of speech, and of course, of course, freedom of speech, very important. Things is the freedom cracking. Uh, the freedom what? Sorry. Freedom cracking. Cracking. Ah, of course, the cracking of freedom. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, look, may be it that he's just off Starboard, Starboard, Starboard side, and. Uh, uh, 
I, I want my crew to be kept here so we can be more clear. Okay, so you wanna so you see the the freedom kraken down below. It's actually not a not a giant mega kraken as we might be used to seeing from the, like the pirate films. This guy is uh, you know a pretty small kraken. He's really just a baby kraken, uh, the the kraken of freedom. Uh, and um, you see him swimming down below off the side of the ship after Sebastian and his blue team have gone uh, down the uh, down the side. Uh, well, off into the little island to get some get some drinks. And uh, you realize that. Um, you need to capture this. So how, Mirak, how are you going about capturing the Kraken? And of course, you guys in chat, how are you guys, Green Team, going about capturing your Freedom Kraken here? Um, Mirak is, uh, he's, he's very talkative, and as we all know, Freedom Krakens love to talk. Of course, yes. Because freedom of speech. Ma naturally. And I am going to attempt to, to, uh, to, to lure this Kraken in with the promises of a Freedom and other things that uh, make freedom awesome. Basically, just freedom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the message. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, roll me like a persuasion check, and let me know what you say as well. What do you uh, What do you say to the freedom? I'll just use my nat twenty on here. You want to use your nat twenty on some? All right. Yeah. Not bad. Um, <laughs> so as as uh, Squall is diving in to save Templar. Um, to get some bro CPR, he's just kind of like uh, <laughs> trying to save Templar, who's drunkenly fallen off the ship earlier on. Uh, and uh, met a rather grisly fate. Mirak uh, speaks to the Kraken, uh, and uh, the Kraken of Freedom's like, uh, I can, you know what, I can get behind these very reasonable ideals which you hold. Uh, how do I, how do I sign up to the, uh, to your crew, Mirak? Oh, well, it's pretty simple. First, you sign the pamphlet. Uh, and then you uh, do, then you do a small donation. He extends a tentacle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a small donation of a suction cup and uh, some cracking mm. and some freedom magic. Suction cup, okay. <laughs> and he, uh, mm, uh, there you go. Yep. Great. And, um, and now, uh, now, now you're part of uh, part of my crew. Oh great! I feel really free now. I've signed up to this. This is like so free, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Before I was just like floating around in the ocean doing whatever I wanted, uh, but now, <laughs> gone. I di I didn't realize the shackles that were upon me. This is okay. great. Thanks so much, Mirak. You're welcome. Um, all right then. So Denif, uh and the red team. Red team, make yourselves known. Um, what is uh, your little scenario that you run into here on the 17 Cs? I'm gonna kind of go with a scenario that actually somebody in my, in, uh, my team has suggested. So, as they're off doing all their own little bits there, Storm is it has been brewing. Mm. It doesn't seem like it's that bad until a li until lightning starts sp uh, striking around. A bull lightning does hit the central mass, so me and the and the crew of the red team needs to do everything we can to uh, to make sure that uh, to basically secure the central mass to right. try and prevent it from falling. Otherwise, we may either lose that or the crow's nest. All right, then. So, uh, uh, red team, how are you guys locking down the uh, the ship here? Are you holding onto sails? Are you uh, being helpful at all? You might not be being helpful whatsoever. Uh, and at the same time, uh, Squall is jumping into the ocean um, to uh, to to see. Yeah, you know, he spots the kraken, realizes it's a source of protein, uh, and he's trying to uh, make it into a gain shake. Unfortunately, he rolls a free. Uh, and he doesn't quite get the freedom kraken uh, as he slashes down and the kraken just dives away <laughs> um, So free uh, as um, he misses so uh, What team are we on right crimson team? How are you holding down the ship and also Denif? How are you? Uh, what are you doing in this uh, hamster is binding rope to the mast, but he is a hamster So not being too useful <laughs> potentially so Denif uh, what about yourself? Um, well, <clears throat> you know with that I See, the, I, I see the hamster doing that, so I'm just gonna take the rope and do what he's doing and trying to tie the mass down from where it was okay. stricken. Okay, roll me a uh, strength check just to uh, to hold it down in place. I completely forgot how to do that. <laughs> That's a 1d20 plus your strength bonus, my friend. 
<laughs> okay. No worries. Let's see. Uh, Ivor Chan is flirting uh, and asking help from other teams. Uh, Ryan and Girl, we're. There you go. Uh, yeah, Ryan and Girl, we're playing uh, with you guys in chat so you can pick a color. Uh, I'll put it in there. A 15 is pretty good, so um, you are uh, starting to like, kind of bring the uh, the main cell back in as a little hamster is beginning to kind of wrap his little uh, rope around the mast to help you bind it to it, but the storm is pretty bad. Uh, other crew members, we can bring you guys in on this one, seeing as the whole ship is being affected. Are you guys helping out in any way? What are you guys, um, what are you guys doing at this point? Or are you just watching, watching the red, watching the red crew, just like I, they can do I, I'll, this. Um, I'll can get do some this. rum and come okay. around the other guys and say, and uh, say, <clears throat> uh, ten uh, gold coins that one of them falls off. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, take Anyone want to? Okay, here we go. Right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dip it on that as well. Yes. I'll help hold mm -hmm. the mast in place. If one of them falls over, I'll get that money, right? No, no, I get the money if one of them falls over. Oh, well, no. How about I and then I get the money? And, uh, it looks like uh, you've got a new member of your crew. You've got Ninja Kitty on your team, blue team. Good job, Sebastian. Um, and uh, Castella's up there, but she's she's waiting until anyone gets hurt, but doesn't actually help herself. Whilst Rogar is helping securing the rope with Hamster. Um, and, yeah, Hamster's crying out for help. Um, Alright, so you guys uh, begin to tie the uh, the mast back down into point as you're steering away. Who's steering the ship at this point? Who's steering the ghost ship? Gotta be one of you guys, right? Yeah, no, that's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I, don't, I don't think you want no. Oran steering the damn ship. Yeah, possibly not. So, <laughs> so Master D, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. uh, Master D, roll me a survival check to stay on course throughout the storm. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Go yourself an injury, fuck yeah. Um, Alright, Super Watch can climb out the mask, so let's see what Master can get on this roll here. Da -da -da. Let me know what you roll. Shout out to me. I'm tabbing in now. Mm, oh, a nine isn't very good. good. Uh, you guys find yourselves to be rather off course by the time that the storm begins to abate. Um, and uh, it's 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 not like a too good because you realize that you've lost Captain Greybeard's ship that like you were previously following uh, in the storm, um, and so you you find yourselves out of the storm basically just wet uh, and not too you know there's no damage to the ship which is going to be uh, anything other than just repairing a few floorboards for Corrin, but you do find yourselves lost to sea, no fucking clue where you guys are. So go ahead, Denif. Looks like about size. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and then look over towards the helm, and I'm just gonna shout out, "Who was driving the ship? We We're can... lost now." <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna quite the walk away. I'm gonna hide somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna drink more rum. <laughs> that's, that's a good I, I'm sorry, I can't drink and drive. It's no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to mourn over the loss of Templar because he was one of my best. Freedom yeah, no, of course, yeah. Corrin's like fiddling with his hammer and just. Um, <laughs> just going to hang my head in shame and be like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> so, um, let's turn it over to Corrin and the orange team. So, orange team, make yourselves known. Alright, so a Super Wars King rolls up the mast, he rolls an eight to try and climb up and doesn't get very far. He finds himself stuck <laughs> halfway up the mast. Uh, so, Corrin, what is your um, what is your uh, little problem or uh, side quest that you run into here on the uh, on the way? Well, obviously, we're going to be getting ready to go into combat, of which course. means the men have to be loose and their spirits have to be up, which means only one thing that we can do, possibly, to help this situation, is get drunk and have an arm wrestling contest. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So. Uh, sure. <laughs> to to get drunk, obviously you need a lot of supplies of rum, which you guys luckily have, seeing as you stopped for rum uh, on the, at, at a tavern previously of the blue team. So it's a good job, blue team, for... Uh... Yeah, so I'm I making off with their fun. rum for my people. Mm, I like it. So, um, 
Everybody that is orange, raise a drink of some kind, an ERP drink or a, uh, an AM. I think there's only like one. <laughs> there's so much road cars currently. Uh, is anyone wanting to uh, switch to the orange team currently? Seeing as you got a, uh, a perfect opportunity to drink. It might be an excellent chance for a pirate to switch sides at this point if you're looking for a drinking contest. Um, so first off, Corrant, roll me a constitution saving throw. Um... To, uh, to see if you can f survive the kind of first bout. <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so a 12. So you're feeling pretty pretty dizzy at this point pretty when, drunk. when you, uh, you, know, you see the other teams uh, beginning to come in to, to, to uh, kind of wrestle with you guys, basically, to barge in on your gig. Um, and uh, it looks like the blue team, first off, wanting to come in here, as well as Squall. At the very least, some degree team uh, wanting to uh, to represent uh, the teams here. So, um, so Sebastian, of course, yourself coming in. How are you going to make yourself your presence known here? Um. Well, me and my fellow blue teams will just stroll in, you know, in our fabulous kind of coats and everything like that, because that's what we do. Um, uh, we'll take a we'll take a, a glass, well, well, a mug of uh -huh. rum, and um, I will send forward. Bird versus plane, and he nice. and go, go for it, my friend. You can beat this man in an arm wrestle. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> going to arm wrestle. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, bird versus plane, give me a roll as well as tall square to give me an exclamation point roll uh, as well to uh, <laughs> to see how you guys do against Corin here, who's uh, you know already feeling the effects of the uh, the alcohol. And thank you to dear Ashley for following. Welcome to the Avenger, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Um, awesome stuff. So, bird order 13, pretty good. Uh, Corin, can you give me a, a roll as well, a strength check to see how you can uh, hold up to the pressure here? 26. Damn. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at oh, all. That's a roll. So, <laughs> oh my Damn. god! And uh, Sue Watkins shouting, "Sir, anyone can I, can oh, I get some?" Oh, cannot be beaten. Well, some rum. You know, you're looking up as you know. Corin just slams down the arm of Bird versus Play and slams down the arm of Tom Squall as well. Like um, both of them at the same time. Just yeah. Like, uh, and then you look up and you hear, Captain, please, someone let me down from here. As Super Watch King still stop, stuck up on the rigging uh, of the mast. Uh, you're up there till you drink more. <laughs> uh, I spin the hamster to help get him down. Uh, throw, throw some rum up to me, sir, please. Um, <laughs> And yeah, powered by rum, you destroy the arm wrestling contest. And this is very important for the orange team, seeing as you've just asserted dominance over both the green team and the blue team. Um, so, right. and I did it with the blue team's rum. It, you fucking did, which means that uh, in terms of captaincy, you're looking we, to, uh, you know... You're sorry, looking... we've, got, we've got another blue team coming in for an arm wrestle. Oh, shit. Oh, the way, uh, nin, oh. You know, Ninja's going in. Ninja she's, Kitty's she's going represent. in. All right, give me an exclamation point. Represent. Give me an exclamation point roll, Ninja Kitty, to represent the blue team with this arm wrestle here, and uh, we'll see if you can you can bring it back. So Kitty steps forward, and she's like, uh, Corrin! And then she just, like, puts her arm out. Try and take me! Yeah, you know, I, I imagine Kitty in as, like, maybe, like, a, a slender woman who looks like she, that she probably couldn't win, but... I will laugh if she does. <laughs> unfortunately, I just saw the roll she did. Oh dear, it is a six, unfortunately, uh, as K Kitty goes in. I mean, Corrin, you could give me another roll again. You could Matt one this. Eight. <laughs> oh, he did not want it! Oh, he did not want it! Oh my god. So, this, there's this tense contest as Kitty's like, she's struggling against it, and Corrin's like, and at the very last moment, Corrin's strength just gives way as Kitty slams it down for the blue team. Uh, and yes! I don't know what happened. <laughs> She's so pretty, I, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Where am is, I? It is a win for the blue team uh, after having Woo! previously <laughs> looking out well of the done, running. Kitty. Absolutely nailed it, Ninja Kitty. Good job there. Good job. So, um. <laughs> and thank you to oh. Daring Goo for following. Welcome to the Avenger, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. If you guys 
haven't followed yet. We're only four followers away from a viewer decision where you guys get to decide anything which happens in our game next. So hit that button if you haven't already, and we'll get some more <laughs> madness going. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, the, oh, let's just play twice. There we go. Um, awesome. <laughs> and the idea of more drink, the superpower... To total drunkenness struggles back to the ship too late though. Unfortunately, the contest is over as Templar finds himself back aboard the ship and Mud Puppy's hanging his head in shame at this point. So, um, alright, last little, uh, scene here before we reach, uh, Tuba, uh, Refix playing Marcity. What is the purple team's, uh, scenario for you here today? <coughs> now, um... The last poppy adopted was, um, and then I was trying to was infested with massive rabid rats. Yes. And oh, they, 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 uh, they got on board. And uh, I happens. am downstairs uh, with uh, my crewmates. Nice. Trying to combat these ferocious beasts. <laughs> okay, I awesome. The blue team for the rats. <laughs> so, yeah, just as you guys have brought up the rum stores uh, for this drinking and wrestling competition, uh, you guys hear this kind of uh, and you, you hear a lot of sound of scurrying feet as you guys look below you uh, and you, uh, you look below decks and there's a swarm of rats out here. There's a whole swarm of uh, these rather large rats that you guys have been keeping before as pets, but they've kind of multiplied and grown uh, into uh, rather, um, rather terrifying uh, creations. Um, so, uh, rabid rats indeed, yes. So, uh, Purple Team, obviously, you guys are the main guys down in these quarters uh, at current, but the rest of the teams, feel free to get involved as well. How would you guys help fight the rat infestation down here? But first of all, Marcity, as the leader of the team, uh, what is your call on this one? Um, I'm gonna find a frying pan. I'm gonna... Now, I'm assuming these can be, can be eaten. If, if oh, rises. absolutely. You know? they're, yeah, they're a main staple source of food. Just sort of flatten one to see it. Yeah. Scoop it up, put it in a bag. The next one, and flatten it. Next one, keep going and going and going. Nice, awesome. So give me, give me some attack roll. Give me an attack roll there. And thank you to Ninja Kitty twenty fourteen for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. You're a gentle lady and a scholar. You've definitely proven yourself as a blue team already. How do you join a team? All you have to do, Orion, is to pick a color. You can do it on the gear down below in, uh, in Twitch chat there. Um, actually, perhaps yeah, a we should. Little bit wrestler that one. Perhaps we should make this uh, this whole contest mm. a little more interesting. Perhaps we should have a wager. I have some Steam keys to give away, um, oh. and, I, and I feel like the uh, the winner, the winning team, should be eligible for some uh, some Steam keys. So I have uh, I picked these up at Games Fest. Um, company called oh, a game called Lead and Gold. Oh, I shouldn't show the fucking like code on it. Uh, game called Lead and Gold on Steam. I don't think it's right. Um, and it's like a Western show. I've got uh, a couple of these Steam keys to give away. So we'll give away uh, we'll give away a free Steam keys. So the winning team, whoever is the captain at the end, your team will be eligible to win some Steam keys. So, um... Ooh. I know, I know. No yes, pressure indeed. then. No pressure. No pressure at all. No so, pressure at all. In fact, that might be difficult to know because people might switch teams, might not they? Hmm. Hmm. Let's just give it to everyone at the end, for the fun of it. So, um, everyone, <laughs> everyone at the end will be eligible to win some Steam keys, so there we go. Uh, Steam, not stream. The stream key is something that I will, I will not give out. Um, <laughs> that would be a bad idea. Okay, so, uh, Marcy, you're on a 21. Um, mm -hmm. and very nice, very nice indeed. Cool. Um, so you start destroying some of these, uh, rats. Uh, just with a like, bong 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 on the head, um, and we've got um, nice that twenty for Chan there. Um, we've got uh, Castella smacking a rat with her medic bag. Only rolling eight though, so she's starting to take some of these rats, but they're quickly being overwhelmed as Calby S comes in, charging his fist with all of his body bodily energies and punching them. He punches them. He actually punches himself somehow and gets knocked out. He rolls a nat one, unfortunately, um, and. Uh, Castella's jumping on the crates, holding a medic bag close to her. G go away, rats! Go away! <laughs> nice. So, um, you guys, uh, rest of the teams, what are you guys doing? So, let's uh, Sebastian, Mirak, Denif, and Corin. You guys helping out, or are you leaving this to the purple team? Well, I mean, I I don't want to ruin my perfectly good coat. Indeed. So, 
I'm going to leave it to the purple team. I mean, that's what they're there for. Well. I think I'm actually I'm... going to be helpful, and I'm going to turn to uh, everybody on the red team and be like, let's help them, help them out. Free food for us. I imagine Corin's passed out unconscious after yeah. that. After that humiliating defeat with the kitty? The humiliating defeat with the kitty, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I it mean, was a, a not long you scenario. You got beat by a kitty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how could, I mean, to be defeated by anything less. Well, see, there's this thing about leverage, you know, and focal, focal points and... and in other These scientific are half terms. hinges. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I needed more rum. Mm. I, I wouldn't feel too bad. Kitty is one of the most savage people we've got on the blue team. So I wouldn't worry too much. I think she's not free enough, though. She should totally be on green team because that would make her more free. <laughs> she's free to do whatever she wants. <laughs> True, true. She, and yeah. What she wanted was to beat Corin, and so yeah. she did. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> All right. What I uh, actually want us to do is we're gonna pick a we're gonna strike a pose so I can tweet out with our colors, um, so we get some more people in for representing your crew team. So, quickly uh, pick a uh, pick a pose, and we will have you guys take a little screenshot. Here. Okay. So, pick a pose in. Oh wait, no. All the faces have gone round. Fuck. <laughs> We'll get Lan a second. We'll get to the face in a second. Crimson, here we go. Let's get Brian back in a second here. So, um, let's see. So, who else is joining in? I believe Sebastian was joining in, correct? Yes. Yeah, uh, roll me an attack roll here if you would be so kind, sir. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't joining in. No, I was too worried about my coat getting ruined. So ah, of course, yes. Yeah, I was um, however, some of my members of my crew are free to do so. Okay, cool. Uh, let me find a Brian. Where is Brian? Come back here, go down. Brian. I'm right here. Cut, What'd cut. you do with me? I, 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 I destroyed your face somehow. I don't know how. It just, it just how happened. did you destroy my face I, already? I'm, I'm so sorry. It's Obviously, usually... his stealthy abilities are vastly superior to our own. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's turned invisible. You know, his stealth abilities, too, it is. There he is. There he is. All right, we'll there I go. Uh, Screenshot moment here. All right, so uh, pick a pose. Three, two, one. Oh wait, we take that one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Excellent stuff. <laughs> I'll tweet this out. Hopefully, you get some more uh, crewmen on your ship. All right, let's dive back into the action with the Come chat. Find out you were hitting the record button, not the not the screenshot. Yeah, button. yeah. <laughs> Here we're taking green team too. All right, cool, very good. Uh, Cowby's <laughs> dodging and punching key. Oh man, they're getting punching in the key. Here we go. Uh, all right, so uh, Hamster has gotten down the super wasking at this point from the rigging. Good job. Um, we go Halloween, go purple. What's that, dragons? How's it going, man? Actually, got another member of the purple team there from Orion. Good stuff. Um, so you guys do manage to take down the uh, the rat attacks, the rat attack tats, um, as um, the group of you just begin to punch, hit. Kick, um, spit, who knows, uh, all over these rats until they are gone, until it's subdued uh, by your team. Um, so, um, let's uh, let's dive back into this here. Team Blue, pretty good. Uh, in terms of who, who won that one, I, don't, I think the purple team did pretty well in that one, actually. Um, there's a lot of blue teams, though. Uh, crewmen, rather. I think the blue team currently have the most uh, members on their team, which so is... Many. Which it's is, our, it's our fabulous coats. You yeah, see, it's fabulous blue coats. coats. Yeah, must be. Oh, dipping into the course, it's already, are we? Of <laughs> course, of course. We have to Fully. be prepared. Do you realize how long it takes to get into a corset? Uh, uh, no. It takes a long time. <laughs> we no. should start with you right now. I will just. There is a lot to me. My armor, thanks. Yeah. I don't think. I, I think your team's a bit on free there. Uh, for the mm. coats. They seem what do you mean? Want... <laughs> but they're obviously restricting, of course it's not restricting as well, you have got to put them close together. In honest truth, you should all just run around, around with it. Look at Templar. So, so are you suggesting we should run around buck naked? Well, Templar's nearly buck naked, but it's not quite Templar. You look how happy he is, he looks so happy. He does look rather happy, I'll give him that. For someone who's just fallen overboard and come back, he looks rather happy. 
<laughs> a lot of knocked out members in chat currently. A lot of knocked out members. Um, awesome. So, um, <laughs> you guys having a good time here. School gathers rat corpus and makes a mad rat protein shake. A gains! Mad gains. Mad gains is cool. I like it. So, um, let's, um, let's see then. So, you guys, uh, have made your way somehow back to the island of Tuba. You guys see that um, <laughs> there is a uh, large island before you, which looks like a party island. You see there are these uh, ships docked outside, these pirate ships docked outside, but they're kind of, you know, booging uh, pirate army hearties, um, and they're, they're having a good time. You notice, you know, from afar, through your periscopes, or, you know, uh, what, what do you call them? Tele what are they called? Um, they're not periscopes, are they? Um, yeah, something like that. Who fucking knows? A, spy a spyglass. A spyglass. A spyglass. There we go. Spyglass. Um, you guys spot free a spyglass that they're kind of partying on here. And worst of all, they are having tre they're getting treasure and they're handing it out to one another. They're getting one bit of booty and he's giving it to another guy. And she's taking a bit of booty and she's giving him her booty. It's just... It's awful. Um, and it's... It's the most disgusting thing that you guys have ever seen as pirates. Now, crewmen, I don't even know how, how you guys are going to react to this. Uh, how do you guys how do you guys uh, react to seeing this? Can we get some Dan games and some what faces? I mean, it's, uh, it's some I, pretty... I, I do everything I can to pre prevent me from vomiting. Yeah, it's... it's Roll me a constitution just... saving throw, please. Okay, I'll do my best. But I think I'm going to hurl over the board. Over the no, side. that's just unnatural. I know, it's just a uh, constitution. Oh, uh, God. Go wonder. <laughs> the... Oh, no. Oh, I, I critted. Oh. Wow. Nice. Nice. God damn. So you Epic were... stoicism. Yeah, you're like, huh. Oh. oh, that's good. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. You're, uh, you're like, mm. okay. Whew. No, I'm going to face me. I, c I can deal with this fucking socialism here in chat. Um, savages. Oh, absolute savage. Um, so it's, it's breaking out into some on the deck. You hold, yeah, Birds is holding his captain's hair back, but luckily he doesn't need it. He's actually, he's actually too strong. Um, so, um, yeah, you guys see this happening. Uh, and you see Captain Greybeard's ship is nowhere to be found. Which is good news for you guys, because if you can get in here before Captain Greybeard, you can take all the booty and plunder for yourselves. So... Quickly, everyone in their corsets! <laughs> no. Carry on free. I still think my idea was better. You always think your idea is better. It's because it's always better. Can <laughs> you talk to my team up at some point? You seem like a very free person. I like, totally won't free, freely cast out you. I've got freedom for you right here. Point <laughs> taken. Alright, so... Uh, so everybody please course it up, if you'd be so kind. Um, <clears throat> In the the crew. How dare you corset up? Mm -hmm. You have to buy. You have to buy his dinner first, Will. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I make I make my move quickly. Um, Straight to the point. Brian, when you when you have a. I think a, we uh, might need two of these thrown together for me. When you have a donger such as this, Brian, uh, sometimes. Oh God, oh, brother. Sometimes it's just not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and now. Blue team, you've got an extra ally, it looks like, in the form of the Raging Donger. We can't lose now. We can't lose. I mean, I don't want to show any bias, but it currently is blue. Um, I say that is quite biased. Puts on a corset, doesn't realize you put it on backwards. All corset up, good, good job. Overturn just jumps into the sea. <laughs> nice. Grogar's got a catapult from, uh, from below decks, I like it. Uh, Castella's helping people with their corsets. Nice, nice. Um, and uh, Super Watch King is going in, is going fishing. Nice. Gives a fish to to his uh, captain there. I like it. All right. So you guys, um, you guys, uh, aided by your crew, now fully corseted up, um, are ready to uh, to go aboard the island of Tuba and to massacre the people there. So, uh, how are you guys I can going? Barely breathe. I imagine How each of walk you walk around in these things. <laughs> each of you guys have got a ship, like a little rowboat. So you've got a blue rowboat, a green rowboat, a red rowboat, an orange, and a purple rowboat. Like each of your crew are stuffed inside with you guys as you're sailing out here. So, um, what's the what's the game plan from each of you here? I hope someone from the blue team didn't put on a corset because it'd be terribly awkward to row. I mean, 
It's, it's, I need someone from the blue team to f- forego their corset. I need a volunteer. Um, and then we will row to the island and then mingle into the tavern, uh, try and find weak points. Mm. And my objective is to try and find explosives and blow things up. <laughs> find explosives, blow things up. Okay, what about Mirax, Team of Freedom? Uh, team of Freedom is, of course, going to use the uh, Freedom Cracking, what I assume to ask where I finally let go of. Um, and we're going to use him like a power point as his headquarters. I, I get it. Okay, cool. Very nice. All right. So, f- Freedom Team using the Freedom Kraken here. I like it. Um, <laughs> Bird's been on several corsets here at the moment. Kenny's feeling like this makes her boobs look too big. I know the feeling. I know that feeling. Yeah, not a- <laughs> people, people were talking in chat yesterday about having to roll for boob size in D&D games. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> the, weird, the, weird, the weirdest thing was though. The weirdest thing was though. It was all girls. It was all. It was all women. And I'm like, yeah, I do that in my games too. Yeah, me too. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. It's so a, a very common thing. It's just like you know, roll for hotness. Apparently, it is. Yeah. Apparently, I it is. Yeah. <laughs> I keep losing all my crew. So, so um. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right, cool. So, what about uh, Crimson Team, Red Team with Denneth at this uh, head? Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna actually order everybody on my team uh, to scout around, mainly just to make sure that Greybeard isn't around, because you never know he could be hiding someplace, and this could all be some sort of a trap. So, okay, go and search around, scout around. Prank. It could be a prank. Oh, could be. Could be. Okay, cool. Um, I just rolled them. That 20. <laughs> Proud of you, Ninja Kitty. Proud of you. Um, okay, cool. So, um, all right, what about Team Orange? Go on. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. Um, okay. Corin, uh, tell us, what is your game plan here? Oh, Corin? Yeah, yeah. I understand. That's, that's me. Oh, that's God. You. I oh, should God. think of something. Oh, God. Well, Corrin's very, very, he's very punchy. Very, very <laughs> so he's going to want to get on the shore, and as soon as everyone finishes with all their cavalcade of explosives and, and distractions and whatnot, we're going to be charging straight up the center. All right, excellent. So it's forwards charge, corseted. Um, <laughs> excellent. People leaving the blue team? Oh, my God. They'll alert. never know what's going on. They'll never know what hit them. Uh. <laughs> Nice. All right. Um, all right. Two side. Won't wear a corset, but I'll roll the boat for my team. Good man. Good man. All right. So the people calling their captain Sebi now. I like it. All right. So finally, Master D from the purple team. What is your guys' plan here? Um, no, we're all super stealthy, so we're gonna we're not gonna take a rowboat. We're gonna swim. We're gonna put on this sort of water retardant, the water waterproof, the pants, like skirt and stuff. Uh-huh. We're gonna swim all the way to the shore. We're gonna sneak up. I'm gonna hide somewhere and wait for the shit to break down. I'm gonna start stabbing and shooting everyone. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Awesome. So you you guys are going for the sneaky approach with the the purple team. So we've got sneaky approach from purple team, all out attack from the orange team. We've got a cautious approach from the red team. A, a very free approach led by the freedom kraken from the green team, and an explosive. Uh, start from the uh, from the blue team. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around in counter order. So we've usually been going from blue team and then green and then red downwards. We're going to start from the purple team, orange team, red team, green team, and blue team. So do it backwards this time around. It's also a good point to remind you guys that if you are new to the adventure, then hit that follow button and join us because when we hit three more followers, you guys in the chat get to decide anything which happens next in our campaign. It could be that there's a whole army of pirates coming to attack you guys. It could be that you all gain excellent magical items. So get following if you haven't already. Also, you do need to be a follower. I've got free Steam keys to give away of uh, a game, Lead and Gold on Steam. It was like eight quid. So I've got like a, I don't know, Western shoot 'em up kind of game. Um, you do need to be a follower to be eligible, I believe, for the giveaway thing. Um, so yeah, do that if you haven't already, and there's a tweet to retweet as well. Also check out the Patreon if you'd like to. Um, Alright, so let's dive back into these things, starting with Refix, Mercedy, and the purple team. So can we get some uh, some purple team folks in the chat, make yourselves known. So, what are you doing, Mercedy? 
coming up on his island here. Um, I'm gonna find a nearest abandoned house that's relatively close to the shore, so we can see everyone else moving up. Uh, and we're gonna just gonna wait for everyone else because we're gonna we're gonna be real quick getting to shore and hide. Nice. Okay. Cool. Excellent stuff. So, um, roll me a stealth check, and can the purple team let me know what you guys are up to sneaking onto the island here? Um, are you gonna roll me some stealth checks? If you can, you can do an exclamation point roll to give me a roll and let me know what you got. <laughs> we got on, uh, on Twitter, it's trending, hashtag green team freedom team, and hashtag green team for freedom. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's all over Twitter right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Alright, so let me know what you're all master do. But Ryan's getting his uh, weapons ready just as Bird is mocking the purple team for getting their clothes and hair soaked. Uh, mm. <laughs> Alright, so mm. uh, given that roll. Nothing's happening. Nothing's oh. happening. Hang on. Let me try it again. Might come through. There we go, see what's happening. Should come through. We'll see. Furious typing. <laughs> there we go. An eleven. All right, cool. So yeah, not not so great. So as the um, as too shy Ryan Castella um, and sure many others, as well as uh, Master D are sneaking through. They do draw the attention of the um, the the enemy crew, the the black sails, um, the pirating pirates, who are all kind of like uh, you know. Uh, Mambering and uh, doing a little bit of dancing, uh, and then they look over and they're like, "Who are those sneaky guys over there? They they might be trying to stop our socialist ideals." Um, and uh, they they start to make their way towards you guys, uh, alerting them to your presence just as it's the time for the uh, the orange team and Corin to make their move. So Corin, feel like it was an all front. Charge was it not? All out frontal attack, good. They they distracted them perfectly. I'm going to be charging straight in, and I'm going to hit him. Nice, go. Cool. Give me uh, give me an attack roll here. Let's see what you get. Uh, All no right, and orange okay, that team. does nothing apparently. I was trying to use my character sheet. Oh, sometimes uh, maybe it's fucked up. Who knows? Uh, anybody in chat from the orange team, what are you guys doing? You go for an all-out attack, let us know um, how you guys are interacting with the, uh, the scenario here. <laughs> wow, I'm doing great with the rules You are, today. you are just nailing it today, <laughs> Sip. Oh, man. Um, so, it's kind of, uh, like, like oh, all-out attack, and they're like, join the party, guys, yeah! Um, and, uh, you start kind of, like, slipping onto the shore, as you realize you're kind of tangled in a lot of seaweeds, Cora and yourself, and you're also... I can't, I can't raise my arm, the course it's getting in the... It, it, it's keeping me from, from my full reach. Yeah, uh, just as Hamster bites the I ankles... I said this is a bad idea. Yeah, Hamster bites the ankles of one of them, like, ah, ow, ow! Uh, and uh, Rogar is bashing the closest one in the face. He just kind of, boom, the first one down. He goes, oh, immediately knocked out. And uh, a melee, a brawl begins to, um, you know, just start in here as you guys have uh, drawn blood, drawn first blood against <laughs> these pirates making some good moves. Um, you guys also notice that they do have several, uh, like, buildings around here. Basically wooden huts that they've built, um, in which they probably live. And if you're looking for things that might be amongst their camp, there would be a good place to find it. So I know the blue team are looking for explosives, for instance. Uh, that might be somewhere you could look for that. Of course, they do have their ships in harbour as well, where they have a lot of gunpowder. So if you wanted to, uh, to do that as well, there's something you could try and steal away of their ships, potentially. But the red team, I believe you're looking out for um, the Captain Greybeard, were you not? Oh, uh, frozen, there we go. Uh, I think Brian is frozen? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay. red team, you're back. Brian, so what are you doing, my friend? Uh, you're muted, drink! You're muted. I hit, I hit the run. unmute, why did it mute? I. I couldn't tell you, my friend. So, you were looking out for Greybeard, I believe. So, red team, make yourselves known and get ready for your captain's orders. So, uh, Deneth, what are you doing and what do you order your crew to do? 
for the ones that are left, because apparently people keep going back and forth, uh, for those who are left, I'm going to be ordering them to kind of go a little bit around the town, a little bit on the outskirts, just to kind of make sure their uh, Greybeard isn't around quite yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Roll me a perception I... check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and of course again that one. Oh boy um that's impressive so you um you go around looking for the uh captain uh graybeard if he's to be indeed to be found you're you're not entirely sure if he could be around you certainly don't spot him and you actually find yourselves the red team a little bit lost on the island at present um you're you're not entirely sure where you guys are um, after Captain Deneth has led you guys astray. Um, so, fortunately, Captain, it looks like your your crewmen might be losing a little faith in you at this point, seeing as uh, you've, you've led them off the beaten path, and you're nowhere near the fight at this point. Nowhere near the booty. Um, I throw away the um, compass that I had and I had in my hand, and say I down. knew I should not have taken that damn compass that Corn gave me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. And how do you? Hey, how does that's the... a fine compass. It's the corsets that are screwing everything up. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> no worries, Ryan. Have a good time, my friend. Um, nice. So Sway ignores the order and just sits in about smoking his pipe. Um, oh wow. <laughs> nice. Pretty good. Um, so yeah, you don't spot uh any sight of the greybeard. It appears that he's not around here. Um. And it is uh, the I think Good Guy Pie is coming back here in a second, so we'll skip forward to the blue team. Uh, so blue team, make yourselves known, Captain Sebastian. What are your orders to your crewmen? Well, we make for the beach, and as everyone is fighting, we pass by, going, "Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me," as we're going through. And our main objective is to find where they keep the dynamite and TNT. Um, maybe you know on a ship or maybe in a shack nearby and then our plan is to blow up every single ship in the harbor i'm going to give us every crewman uh, some tnt and some gunpowder they have to board nice. each and every ship and blow them up and then report <laughs> back excellent stuff all right then so uh blue team what are you guys doing are you following the orders of your captain go ahead and describe to me what you guys are up to I like that idea. So, um, why don't you roll me a uh, mm -hmm. performance check, Sebastian, to kind of rouse check. the rabble of your crew? If you'd be so kind. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What would performance check normally be under? Uh, it, it would be charisma. Yeah. Charisma. Absolutely. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Unfortunately, oh dear. I'm not charismatic at all. Apparently <laughs> not. No. Oh no. Four. Oh. Boy. Uh, okay, so no, no, no. <laughs> I may have, I, I may have like gone where I said, oh yes, take the TNT, take the TNT, and then blow up the ship. Um, make sure yeah. you blow up the ship uh, after you've left, because there's a big chance that you might blow up yourself. <laughs> so yeah. uh, another in... <laughs> follow instructions. Not very inspiring uh, speech for the captain. Uh, Calbees is, is leaving and uh, Ninja is looking for the TNT along with uh, now leave and never return. Your ships are going to get blown the fuck up. <laughs> Charismatic or not, I will follow, says Ninja Kitty. And uh, Bird says, I enhance myself by stuffing the gunpowder into my corset and attempt to woo pirates into allowing me onto the ship. Bird, you got to give me a roll for that one, buddy. I want to I wanna know how seductive that, that truly oh is. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. He went from a B cup to a D cup. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> overnight, yeah, perfect. Um, and we have uh, poor leadership blue team indeed, yeah. Not looking too hot there, but it looks like um, Ninja Kitty is going into the houses to look for some TNT. She comes out with some barrels of TNT uh, oh, yeah. in her hands. Um, and Bird Rod and Eleven got eight gold, not bad. Um, just by the skin of his teeth, uh, it seems like your fake breasts are alluring enough to the pirates. <laughs> To draw them in, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they seem to be uh, very interested. They're distracted enough by birds uh, that uh, it gives time for Ninja Kitty to steal away with some gunpowder supplies. We'll get back to that in a second. So Mirak, 
Your turn. Um, team Freedom, Green Team, make yourselves known. So, uh, Captain Mirak, what are your orders to your crewmen? So, as we ride, uh, as the uh, Freedom Kraken rides in, he is got, we are going to aim for a rock to launch us into the sky. And nice. As Templar, hopefully, as we plan, brings the Freedom Eagle around <laughs> to pick us and drop us right where the booty is laid. Right by the booty. booty plunder as we wish. Alright, so the plan is launch yourselves uh, uh, on the back of the Freedom Kraken into directly where the booty is to steal it. I, I like this plan a lot. So, um, each member of the green team, you guys are going to have to control a different part of the Kraken. It's not an easy job, it's usually a several, several man job. So tell us how you control your tentacle uh, and what you do with it as you guys are launching yourselves on the back of this little Kraken towards the booty, uh, towards the booty bay indeed. Um, so you're hitting the booty from behind. It would, it would seem that way, yes indeed. Smacking that booty, uh, coming in on the, the hentai Kraken. <laughs> So, uh, so green team, uh, give us some, uh, give us some lines here. What are you guys up to? Mega Dunsparce is, here we go, he says, be the tentacle. <laughs> you guys are just watching him squall as being in the rigging and upon seeing the combat gets upon the craven tentacle like the top rope of a rustling ring. There's a flying leap like John Cena into the ring, waving the hashtag green team freedom flag and flexing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so... <laughs> We have the best. Yeah, Very perfect. That's, that's... The Kraken, then, of course, yeah. Um, a, a Templar attempts to feed the Kraken grog, so the, the Kraken's becoming very drunk uh, as uh, Squall is flexing aboard uh, the back of it. And uh, all of you guys are screaming, FREEDOM! Uh, in a very Braveheart style way. Um, you guys are, uh, are coming in here. All right, so why don't you, uh, as a captain here, uh, Mar Mirak, why don't you roll me um, just an animal handling check to see how well you can handle uh, the Kraken? How well can I handle a Kraken? Yeah, how can you handle a Kraken? That's a, is a Kraken lacking? Okay, I'm so not in the green team, but I will grab the girl. <laughs> Templar begins to quote Braveheart. Okay. All out of run, boys. That is a seven. I should have used the nut 20. Uh, so you, you want to use an nut 20? I think I will. Alright, cool. Second See? One, because has been so kind. Of course, yeah, yeah. The, the green team Freedom uh, comes through as Tool School inspires you with his flexing to get a nat 20. As you guys come in on the back of the Kraken straight into the booty pile. Uh, and you guys are all up in this booty right here. Um, as you, you find yourself surrounded by a, uh, a treasure pile of gold and riches surrounding you guys. And you quickly start to, you know, uh, pack it up. And you guys, you know, like uh, swag bags over your shoulders currently. Slowing you guys down um, and slowing the Kraken down uh, as you're way down of all these treasures. The rest, the, all the other teams, you guys see... That the uh, the green team, the freedom team, are taking all of the booty for themselves. They are trying to have a way with the booty, which would surely make Captain Mirak the captain of the ghost ship. So, how do you guys? How are you guys going to react to that one? Let's let's find out here. So let's go back round the turn order. So Marcedy uh, and purple uh, purple crew, um, what are you guys? doing in response to this um, and seeing as you guys were pretty unstealthy last time around. Mm, yeah, let's not try that again. That didn't go all that well. Um, but Kraken, what, what are we talking like? Car we're, size? We're, we're talking like a truck size. size. Truck size okay, Kraken, okay, yeah. Okay. So, um, and it's, it's on land now, is it? He is on land. He can still move, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, well, then we'll run up to it and slice it open. All right, cool. Let's slow them down. It's going. St okay, so the, the purple team are in direct opposition to the green team, folks. We got some PVP up in here. Um, all right, let's. Uh, can we get some ERP swords for the P uh, PVP going? Uh, and let's see if we can't uh, see what happens next here. So give me an attack roll if you'd be so kind. And purple team, give me some attack rolls um, to uh, against the greens here. Let's see if we can take anyone out. <gasps> So wow. <laughs> yes. Whoa! That nat 20. Oh. That nat 20. Good lord. Nice. 
Oh dear, dear, dear. The dear only me. good role we'll have in this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna bring up my uh, rolling uh, of, of freedom, or of doom here, to see who falls amidst the battle. Calbees from the blue team takes a hit! Um, as uh, in amidst the crossfire of uh, the purple and the blue team, Calbees uh, takes a takes a bad hit. Uh, and Calbees, you can describe to us that wound and how you take it, my friends. So get those greenies, <laughs> dealers. Can't we settle with swift diplomacy? Says Mega Guy. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, uh, looks like uh, the purple team have destroyed the Freedom Kraken on a nat twenty. Uh, with Marcy coming in hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> Can we get some ERP rips for Calby and for the Freedom Kraken guys? That Nat 20 is more than he can take. Um, and uh, Green Team, how do you respond to this just Kraken just just dying? I mean, it's it's tough stuff, guys. It's tough stuff. But it's turn of the Orange Team as the Purple Team now are in control of a lot of the plunder. Um, after having taken down the Kraken, Purples are the guys to uh, to get now. They currently control the booty. So, Calby's vision goes dark. He falls to the ground. Tears spewing from his eyes and he's down. He sees only a hole from his chest. ARP rip. Alright, so Orange Team, you're in the midst of battle. Sid Alpha, what is the plan here from Corrin? The purple have the gold. There's PvP going on on all fronts here. What are you guys up to? Well, everyone's churning on each other, so I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take that booty from myself. It's my booty. Should have gone with my it. plan to begin with. It was the <laughs> plan. Ooh. You shall not have it. It's getting tense in here, so the orange team now in direct opposition with the purple team as well. So, Corrin, can you give me some attack rolls? And orange team in chat, tell us how you're trying to steal the booty away from the purple team, if you'd be so kind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the bad rolls continue. Oh, boy. It's only a nine from Corrin as he's trying to battle against the uh, the purple team, trying to smash some skulls together. But These really, damn corsets, they're throwing me off. They, they really appear to be, just as Hamster really should have worn three of them. Hamster is trying to ambush the purples, going for the ankles. Uh, Rogar only rolls an eight, unfortunately. He's... He, uh, He's charging the purple team to get away uh, some of the booty from them, but uh, a series of rather poor rolls from the orange team means that um, the purple team still remain in control of the booty um, after after that turn. Um, it's, uh, See, it's... the next time I feel the hamster has to go for the eyes. <laughs> there you go. There you go, hamster. You got your orders from your captain. Unfortunately... Oh, bring it in that nat 20 from the Hamster of Wrath, and we're gonna roll once more upon the Table of Doom to see who the Hamster takes down. And my Table of Doom reads that the Hamster has taken down the... How do I get a new winner here? Let's get that one. Didn't want to press that one. Let's get a new winner. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There we go. We have... Super Wasp King is taken down by a nat 20. I remember yeah. the red team falls amidst the chaos. Good lord! It's not the uh it's I like that man. It's not the guy he was after, but Super Wasking, tell us how many you fall, my friend. Oh my god, it's a lot of infighting here. It's red against everyone, it's orange <laughs> against purple, it's green against purple currently, and now there's a casualty there. Going for the eyes. Um as Super Wasking's eyes are chewed out, good lord. And it is turn for the red team, a member down. To um to decide uh, what the captain's orders are for this turn. So, Captain Deneth, please tell us, my friend, what is your um what are your orders for your crew? I just have one thing to say. No quarter. <gasps> dum dum da. <laughs> All right, let's get we, it going. No quarter. That that is that is that is it. And with that, I take my sword. I rush in, and since it was the hamster that that done that done it, I would I would go to attack corn, but because damn purple's got the uh, the gold. <laughs> and damn purple. Damn purple. 
All right. I'm going. I'm going after the purple guy. Let's let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. Thank you to Connor for Nick for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. Your gentleman and a scholar. I'm gonna bring this music back up here. Um, cool. Um, <laughs> give let's me see this works. give me an attack roll, my man. Give me an attack roll. Okay. Do I do it from a weapon or just do a regular nat twenty? Uh, or nat? Um, <laughs> <laughs> just a just a, just an attack roll, if you'd be so kind. Okay. Let's see here. No, just a music. simple click. Wow! Oh, shit! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, it looks like on a nat 20, you're going straight for purple. Um, so, um, let's see here. I'm going to have to get, my, gonna get my table of doom up, it looks like, seeing as the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Brian! Can we get can we get some can we get some exclamation point Brian's in the chat, please? For uh, for that good lord, man! Oh man! Brutal, merciless. I, um, you know, I said that twenty on accident. I did not think I'd call it. <laughs> I I did not think that would happen. Let's get the uh, the table of doom up to see. Who is the unfortunate victim? It's Grucifer! Oh, good oh. lord, Grucifer. I'm that's, sorry, my man. That's, that's me. Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh, no! Wow. He's so taking a hit! <laughs> oh He's gone. God. He's gone so mad. I go to swing at purple, but instead I just... You, you, yeah, I just go right over his head and hit corn. You do. <laughs> like he ducks just in time. Like, oh shit! <laughs> God damn it, Brian! As you swing at Corrin, roll me some damage to uh, to hit Corrin here. Actually, I've already had the damage. Take oh. a look at the roll. Yeah. So what? Twenty damage. That, that's twenty down. damage. Oh my God, he's down. It was a crit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can we get some ERP rips in the chat for Corrin? <laughs> Team Orange, your captain is down! Oh my Gideon, that is. Oh. That is not good, guys. You that know, is with, not with good. That, with Corin's head being just. Uh, I'm assuming I, I, just ac I just accidentally take his head off. I'm gonna look over to everybody. He's down, he's down, course. but he's not dead yet, so he's got a chance still. Alright, well, I'm still gonna look over to everybody in the Orange team and be like. You stand with me, and you will live. But if you continue to fight against me and my men, then you will die. Good lord. Good lord. So, Orange Team, you have unfortunately not done too well here with Captain Down. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's down, but not quite yet dead. Uh, he's still got death saving throws to go. Um, okay, so uh, Green Team... Um, perfect opportunity for you guys. Um, so, Captain, uh, Captain Mirak, what are you up to here? So, I am a man of freedom and a man of equal rights. Of course. And I don't believe what I believe what happened to uh, to the orange captain was so unequal and unfree. <laughs> okay. I, I shall offer my my my. Uh, my Obama, no, yeah, Obama medical care to, to him. Okay, so you're going to try and roll a medicine check? Yes. Okay. Uh, but we're using the, the final map 20 to fill him up. So, so he shall rise and I shall offer him an alliance when oh. he rises. Interesting, interesting. I don't even find your uh, camera again. You seem to have frozen. There we go. Um, so roll me a roll me a medicine check if you'd be so kind. Go bye. Okay. Uh, the find medicine you. check. Uh, there we go. Uh, That's a good guy. Bye. I have no clue what medicine that is. Um, uh, oh yeah, wisdom. Okay, yeah. Alright. Just a lovely plus two. Just a happy little, Aussie. happy little nat two. Um, so 14, okay, okay, a 14, a 14 isn't bad, but it, it's also not great, um, so I'm desperately trying to find where if, where good guy pie is, just a bit too, um, 
Oh. Somewhere around it. There he is. Got him. Um, cool. Yeah. So you um, do you you you've, you're beginning to convince him. You know, you're beginning to get some healing, but it's really not. You know, it's not quite enough at this point. It's uh, it's getting there. Um, um how do I'm I kill? Actually, sure you order by to a squirrel as well, bow squirrel. Um, that he, he he must defend he must defend us with all his muscle muscular might. <laughs> Muscular mind. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Cool. Uh, so that is green team. Um, now, I believe it's... Uh, we've gone run to round of all the teams at this point, I believe. Uh, taking it back to... We done that? Yeah. We're back on to blue team. Um, at least blue team's turn, no? Yeah, blue, blue team's turn. Yeah, blue team's turn. All right. Cool. Um, okay. Awesome. Well, um... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go for it, my man. Go for it. All oh, right. Uh, well, I was going to. I, I gather my team around uh, Calby's uh, corpse with a massive hole in his chest, and I'll go, Calby. You are a true royal crew member, and you will not be forgotten. You, you, and your course, it shall be avenged. And I basically just close his eyes like that, place my hand down, and order my crew, and we. Um, advance to one of the ships docked in the bay. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go to the crew there and, go, and try and persuade them that they, my crew were on their side and to train the cannons onto, the sh onto where all the booty is and all oh. the other pirates are. <gasps> so, um, yeah. Evil. Oh, God. Evil intent from the blue team. Looking to fire back on everyone else back um, on the, uh, the the ships. Okay, so um, blue team, oh, that blue team. Tell me, what are you guys doing? Are you following your captain's orders? Are you remaining loyal to the cause? Is this a good plan? Let us know. We'll read out some. Uh, we got Brian back for the red team. There we go. <laughs> um, here in a second. Um, good lord. And what you're gonna have to do for me is. Uh, Roll me a, ooh, let's see, like a perception check, because you've got to be, like, spotting for them. You're going to be like, fire this way, you know? Um, and the uh, the others are going to have to uh, respond to that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. So we've got uh, Ninja Kitty crying um, and saluting at the same time. Answers of real traitors. He's going this way and that. He's, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> he's, he's off to the purple team at this point. No one can predict this hamster. Um... All right, we've got um, Bird approaching the captain of the booty-possessing team, declaring his newfound allegiance. He hugs the captain and whispers, Captain, I believe we'll go out of a bang. He nods to uh, Seb, uh, wanting him to fire a shot into his corset to blow himself up and the enemy captain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I got a suicide bomb. Oh, my God, he's, he's going all in. Are you going to try and fire and, and do just that, Redundant? That seems like a... Um, a an interesting plan on the part of your uh, your your squad here. Well, I'm hoping that the cannon barrage will set him off. So, <laughs> is that, can I just wait for the cannon barrage? Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. So, roll, roll me a uh, perception check uh, to to the kind of spot for your uh, your crew here. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just have a look. at What's my perception? Okay, that's not too bad. Nice. That's pretty shite. <laughs> Nine. Is... Nine. We fucked it up. These rolls today. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you you fire. Um. But at the same time, can I? Go ahead. One thing. Can I change that? Because I am a patron, and I haven't used my nat twenty yet. <laughs> oh man, the hacks. <laughs> the so hacks. I'm gonna do so dirty. awesome pirate hacks. <laughs> and oh, use my nat 20 so I hit bang on target dirty, dirty, I like it though I like it um, so, um, yeah, why not let's uh, oh, bird. so <laughs> you just see um, you just see birds just standing next to Marcedy with the kind of uh, gunpowder laden um, corsets uh, and Marcedy, can you roll me a dex saving throw please to try and desperately Escape from uh, this uh, this situation here. I'm filming now. <laughs> Let's see what you got here. Let's see what we got going. It's a pretty important role right now. <laughs> Pirate hags, man. Pay to win. Pay to win. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. That's, really That's very good. On a 19, uh, Marsady, you manage to escape. However, someone else gets caught in the crossfire. Let's see who it is. Let's roll once more. And it looks like it is Exo Gull Wonder who takes the hit from the red team. Um, as he's... Another one of my team. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Another crew member down for the red team. It's. It's very, very sad time for you guys, um, and you're just, you know, attempting to stay fighting here. What's the, the purple team still have the plunder? Remember, um, they still have all that sweet, sweet booty, that sweetly swooty. Um, and uh, as the explosion goes off, uh, blue team just tear through ranks upon ranks uh, of the ships, crippling many of the ships and destroying uh, a lot of the crew members uh, as well. Um, but uh, the purple team and Captain. Marcy still have the plunder and uh, Purple Team, it is your turn now. So Purple Team, make yourself known in the chat and Captain Marcy, what are your orders as basically everyone is trying to kill you at this point as you guys have the plunder? Um, can we just run away and hide? <laughs> it's, it's worth a try, <laughs> isn't it? Roll me a stealth check. Come on, let's see. Let's see what you can get going here. Exploding booty. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see here. A uh, little stealth check, and you guys in the chat, let us know what you guys are doing from the purple team. Standing by the captain. Um, Crit. <laughs> the greatest oh, Halloween horror Lord. imaginable is losing the effects of a gun roleplay. Don't worry, MC. That's, that's something that will never happen, my friend. <laughs> never, I say. Um, so... Good lord, dude. What is wrong with Refix today? He's just like a nat 20 machine. He's like, I don't even give a shit. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just... He's is just... it a bad time to mention that I just checked the Twitter and we're at 20 retweets? Oh, oh. no, it's a perfect time to, uh, to bring that up, Brian. An excellent point, my friend. So, as you guys, the purple team, disappear... Uh, we have no idea where the purple team are gone, because on that nat 20, Master D and the crew are just fucking out of here. Uh, they're going straight back to the ship and swimming to shore, away with the plunder. Um, and Tusha is shooting anyone near to Captain Master D. Uh, what I need you guys to do is, underneath this line in the chat, throw out some ideas as to what could happen next in our game. Uh, we've just got a view decision due to 20 retweets. We'll have another one at 30 retweets. And also, if you guys haven't followed yet, hit that follow button and do so. We're only free follows away from another viewer decision entering this game. So you could say, uh, preface it with, uh, VD, like that, or something like that, or viewer decision, so we can, uh, tell which ones are full of viewer decision. And then an idea, so it could be, the Kraken comes back to life. Uh, it could be that, uh, the purple team lose all of their plunder. Um, you guys, for us some ideas, we'll get it into a straw poll, and the most popular decision will happen. Seeing as we're going back to the orange team, redundant, would you mind uh, taking a second to get the straw poll together for you, my man? I appreciate that. Awesome! Corrin comes back to life. Well, it's Captain Corrin's turn. Uh, Corrin, can you roll me a death saving throw, please, before anything else happens? Uh, made 15. it with 15. Made it with 15, all go. right. Pretty pretty good stuff. So, to keep things rolling, we're going to say on your 15, you jump back up on one hit point uh, for the purposes of this. Even though you didn't roll an at 20. Um, just so we can have your orange team still participating. So, what are your orders to your crew as you're severely wounded? You see the, uh, the purple team just disappearing with all of the plunder and uh, the blue team firing cannons down upon you guys. What's the, uh, what's the plan here? Well, first off, because I'm I'm a stabby type, I'm I'm going to use my second wind to to heal myself up a bit, and I'm going to find that bastard that attacked me, and I'm going to get him back. Nice. <laughs> to be fair, I was aiming for the per for the per for green. <laughs> you just well, happened to be. And before in the way. I do, I rip this goddamn corset off because it's getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent plan, excellent plan, and uh, thank you to Drowned Dog for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. Your gentleman and a scholar, just two followers away from another, yet another viewer decision. So, um, and hey, Sid, you rolled to attack, right? Uh, yeah, uh, no, that was that was the D10 for uh, the the uh, second wind. Oh, okay, ah, that's cool. Good <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> So, um, 
Yeah, you uh, you attempt to uh, to get back up again. Just kind of right yourself. Ready to roll me an attack roll against the um, against the fellow. Oh, oh, yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, Nineteen. Uh, 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 Nineteen is a strong, solid hit. And Castella, you're right. Sorry, it seems that like my Twitch alerts have just come down. Let me reboot them up again. But Castella donates one pound uh, first. I'm oh, sorry, Cowbees donates one pound first of all, and says Seb thinks how loyal Cowbees was and gains plus one inspiration. <laughs> Thanks so much, Cowbees. So Seb, you've got inspiration to use on your next roll. Castella donates five pounds and says Castella looks to master the. Pulling out a bottle from a bag. Here, I'm not sure what it does anymore, but it may be useful. She gives her a small, nervous smile. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> just relaunching my, uh, my Twitch lives. They should show up here in the future. If not, just give me a shout when you donate, or follow and stuff like that. Um, and uh, they should show up. Apologies for that, my friends. So, um, so <laughs> a potion, but we don't know what it is. Oh, we should leave it up to the chat to decide all it is, I think. Um, <laughs> when it's when it's drunk, uh, we will uh, we will have a bit of fun with that one. All right, so uh, a 19 is pretty good. Let me bring up my table of doom to see who is taken down amidst the chaos of the situation here. And it looks like it's Drowned Dog, our newest follower. It's just been taken down. Good Lord, my friend. Sorry. Oh, dude, it's how <laughs> it is. Dirty you know? dog. That's how it is, my man. Um, unfortunately for you, sometimes you just uh, you join in and uh, things go badly. The winner is at Drowned Dog. <laughs> the victim is Drowned Dog, I should say. Um, awesome stuff, guys. So, um, yeah, harsh, man, harsh. So, uh, orange team uh, doing some rolling. Uh, edge and rolls are five, so not too great. Uh, rocks are charges. The red team with a raging bloodlust. Rolls are four, however, so it's looking pretty poor for the orange team. Currently, you guys haven't had too much luck with these rolls yet. Uh, and it's time for the crimson team. The order of the crimson phoenix to, uh, to rise again. So, red team, uh, what are the orders uh, of Captain Denef? The orders are simple to continue with no quarter. However, considering we got a ship firing at us, let's see. Let's see if our good friend, <laughs> yeah, instant. Sebastian, will want, will want to fire upon his own vessel. Red Ooh. team, to the ghost ship. Oh, so you want to fire upon the ghost ship, or you just want to get no. on the ghost ship? I want to get. I want to get everybody on the ghost ship. Let's see and see if Sebastian will risk firing upon his own vessel. Fuck. Okay, cool. So you guys uh, run it. Grow me an athletics check, Denif. <laughs> athletics. Yeah, we'll see what you can Where... get going here. A nine. Um, however, I do. I am a Patreon uh, dollar, so <laughs> I do want to go ahead and use my advantage. The pay to win. The pay to win. All I right. get that twenty-three. All right. I like that. I like that. All right. These Patreon advantages coming in handy. If you guys are patrons, you can. Uh, you can. You can uh, pay to win <laughs> for situations <laughs> if you're playing in the game or if you just want your favorites to uh, to get a D10K or an advantage on a roll or a nat twenty. Check out the Patreon. Um, cool. This view decision is looking pretty hot. If you guys haven't voted yet, check it out. And uh, the pretty, pretty close. Anything could happen yet. So uh, yeah, on a twenty-four, you guys rush back and you're onto the ghost ship. Uh, as uh, um, you guys um, manage to uh, to jump back aboard your ship, your vessel, and you're doing pretty well. Uh, however, you guys don't have any plunder yet, but you are in control of the ghost ship. So back to green team and the face of the host, Tishy, uh, and the team freedom, Captain Mirak. What is your order as the purple team are getting away back to the ships uh, and escaping with all the plunder at this point? Hmm. You seem to be in a very dire situation. It does. Um, it seems pretty dicey. And it is our darkest hour as free, as the freedom team. It, it would seem so. It would seem to be. So, I would, uh, I think it's time we uh, put out the, uh, the, the true freedom as okay. I rip off all my clothes and I, and I shout freedom as I, as I, ch as I charge back to the boats. Uh, hopefully everyone else follows me in this example as we <laughs> <laughs> so you scream freedom. Um, can you give me your best freedom scream, please? Uh, 
Well, it's a bit dark, but it's a bit late, but I will do my best. <laughs> <laughs> excellent stuff, excellent stuff. And now it's a dark. Nice, so you just scream, freedom! Uh, can we get some freedom screams from the green team, please? Can we get some freedoms? Um, and you guys just begin to, uh, to, to scream after them. Alright, roll me a, roll me a performance check, just to see how good that freedom scream was. Aha, I have a plus three charisma. Ah, yes, excellent. I could tell, I could tell, you're a very, very charismatic individual. Uh, that's not how you roll at all. That's 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 not it. That's not how you roll thirty for that. Nice. I think I think we'll use the final uh, toll squill gift for this one specific action. Ah, of course, yeah, of course. The the squall, the squall, the squall. Um, and <laughs> you guys, uh, yeah, launch yourselves um, inwards and on a what do you get here? Uh, thirteen. It's okay. It's a pretty good scream. Uh, it's it's pretty free. Um, it's not the freest thing you guys have ever seen, but there's some very good freedoms in the chat from you guys. From freedom and cracking calamari, great freedom from Mega, uh, an excellent freedom from Templar. So use use of the emotes there and the sax solo. I'm a big fan of that actually. And uh, due to Templar's input with the sax solo, you guys manage um, to uh, to pull it off. Um, so go ahead and describe to me exactly what you're attempting to uh, to achieve here and. Uh, Remind me what you're doing, because I was uh, I was <laughs> fucking around with okay. the other things. Here. So we've pretty much um, we're all uh, naked down to our down to our tighty whities. Of course. Um, as we as we are at nearly at our freest point. Yes. Just yet, because we are not on the ship. Uh, as we as we jump onto our green ship, and we are going to all row at the same time, shouting, screaming this constant freedom with Templar in the back and all these sacks over, as we just. <laughs> Back to the ghost ship. <laughs> nice. All right. So you go back to the ghost ship naked, just as the red team arrive and the purple team are getting on board with the booty and plunder. Um, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So um, that, of course, takes it back to the blue team. Um, you guys realize that all the booty is now on the ship. All the other pirates are on the the ghost ship, and it's a bit of a free for all aboard there. What are you guys doing? So, so where's the booty? On uh, with the purple team currently, and they're back on the ghost ship. They're all on the ghost ship. Yep, everyone's basically heading back onto the ghost ship to try and escape at this point. Okay. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm convinced. All the gunpowder that we have, all the barrels and dynamite that we had in the ship. We're going to aim the ship uh -huh. at the ghost ship and charge it. We're going we're gonna to create a fire ship. Wow. And we're going to ram it right into the ghost ship. I <laughs> like it. Speed as much as we can. And then we're going to jump off so we don't blow up in the horrible... <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. And it's at uh, this, this very point now I'm going to bring in the viewer decision that the red team casualties are resurrected. So, red team, if you died, you guys are back. Um, back on board, and you're doing just fine. So uh, you guys come back on. All right. Um, on a ship that's about to get blown. On a ship which is about to be blown up. It's like being rezzed in Battlefield One. Yeah. You know. Or right. yeah. Overwatch. Yeah. Back again. <laughs> No, exactly. God. So, uh, roll me, um, God, what do we roll for a fire ship? I, first I of all, no first of all, blue team, let me know how you're setting fire to the ship. Most importantly, what you guys are doing, uh, and, uh, and how you guys are doing it. So, Sebastian, roll me a, uh, roll me a performance check to, to organize your crew. Um, or in fact, you could, I could let you choose. You could do a performance check to organize a crew, or you could roll a, a animal handling to control the ship, uh, and, uh, to steer it to victory. <laughs> Up to you. Which would you uh, prefer to do here? <laughs> as as captain, the decision is Sebastian. So, uh, what, what are you doing? So, uh, do you want to steer the ship or do you want to organize your crew? So, there's a performance check. Uh, well, es essentially, what's going to happen? I'm going to be steering the ship, okay. and the crew is going to be down below, setting up the TNT, starting Makes the flyers, sense. and stuff like that. Then they're all yeah. going to jump, and then at the last minute, I'm going to jump off, and then hopefully, big boom. Right. Okay. Cool. So, roll me an animal handling check to steer the ship. Let's uh, try and inspire your captain. You remember, you have inspiration from Kelby's. 
Do not forget. So if you want to use your inspiration for this roll. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do All inspiration. Right. Uh, so what's, is that advantage? Inspiration? Uh, yes. You can use advantage, okay. basically. Okay. Um, what does animal handling come under? Uh, do we know? Ooh, uh, wisdom? That, that comes out when... <laughs> That's wisdom, yeah. yeah. Wisdom. Oh, God. <laughs> believe! Oh, sorry. You've got to believe in something. Oh, Either boy. Either four or six. So apparently one of your crew members is a chain smoker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Who, which one of the blue team is responsible for this? I need, I need a name. I need a Come name. On. Come on, which Heads one? Heads will roll. Heads will roll for this we one. We did it. <laughs> Come on, who, who, who is smoking oh, at the end? No. Come on, guys. We know which it's one? one of you. We know it was one of you. So you got, you're like, you're steering the ship, and you're like, ha! They're never gonna, they're never gonna be ready for this. They'll never see this coming. Um, just as you explode <laughs> your <laughs> ship just like uh, sets on fire and the the blue team are sent flying out um and you guys actually land on the deck of the ghost ship and you guys <laughs> are sent flying uh, outwards guys. by the explosion um I'm gonna play, <laughs> uh, role play. i'm gonna look down and be like so what were you planning to do again? Uh, I don't think... Well, you see, that the, the the evil people on the shore, we were fighting the crew to try and stop them. They were the ones who fired the cannons, and then we blew up the ship, which was part of the original <laughs> plan, and we got uh -huh. catapulted uh -huh. over to the uh -huh. ship. Uh, my crew can vouch for me on that. What you just I see through your bullshittery. I'm not bullshitting. I'm perfectly... That's perfectly legit. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, of course not. Oh, he exploded. Exploding around on the ship. Like, <laughs> exploding. Freedom. Yeah. Landing. Lord. So, you got the blue team, you just said. Do you have over. any proof? No, can't prove anything. Yeah, no. it's just a huge <laughs> yeah. As you guys uh, go over, was it me? Not me, I don't smoke it. Was the ghost of Kelby? <laughs> <laughs> Kelby's ghost. In it. God damn it, Kelby. Damn it, Kelby. Every, Sorry, we tried to resume it. He gave you inspiration, but it, it didn't seem to. Didn't seem to work out in the end there. So, uh, our guys, I'll remind you guys, we are one follower away from a second viewer decision here tonight on Encana Roleplay. So, oh, if you God. want to decide the fates of the ghost ship crew, who will win, who will die, hit that follow button and join us. Uh, oh, what's up, Reston? Pick a color, pick a team. We're all fighting for plunder as captains aboard the ghost ship tonight. So, um... All right, then. So that was uh, the blue team having exploded onto the ship. Purple team, Captain Master, do you have a potion uh, to roll on? So the uh, potion table is what you're going to roll on, my friend. Uh, and I believe it's a D33 for this table, if you'd uh, kindly roll that for me. And let me know what is inside the potion that Castella has gifted to you. The Russian judge gives the blue team a four. Actually, yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> Actually, it seems like it's a D3. Yeah, D33. Uh, yep, D33. Mm -hmm. 14. Uh, 14, you look at that. Uh, you have gained <clears throat> the oil of etherealness. Page uh, 183 of the DMG. Beads of this cloudy grey oil form on the outside of this container uh, and quickly evaporate. The oil can cover a medium or smaller creature along with the equipment it's wearing and carrying. Medi applying the oil takes 10 minutes. The affected creature then gains the effects of the etherealness spell for one hour. <laughs> Basically, you've got oil. Uh, so... This is like, uh, I'm going to say it's extra flammable oil as well, this stuff. So if you wanted to set fire to something, it would be incredibly easy with this oil of a fear on this. Or you could apply it to someone or something. So, purple team, what are you guys doing? Everyone's aboard the ghost ship. It's all back to here. You guys have the plunder, but you're not in control of the ship just yet. So, uh, so what are you guys doing? Uh, now, the um, could I have had the oil before this time? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't apply it to myself and as many of my crew as can fit sort of in a bunch. Yeah. And uh, we can still sort of sink the ship and go out of water, can't we? Absolutely, yeah. So, so, so far I'm, we've had people I'm gonna drown everyone. from behind and now we have people oiling each other up. <laughs> so we're gonna 
fill up. We're gonna sink the ship and we're gonna drown everyone else. Okay, uh, so you wanna kind of, um, I guess, burn it down? Is that the plan? Uh, no, 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 we're gonna we're gonna dive the ship. Just uh, actually sink it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, how are you guys gonna go about sinking it? Uh, but could we do the uh, the thing at the start? We could just submarine the ship. Ah, yes. However, that does require the consent of the uh, of all members of the crew, or the captains. Shit. So, captain, captain blue team, do you agree to uh, going below? Uh, why do you want to go below? No, I'm, not, I'm not asking you. I, I, so, uh, and uh, you don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I guess. Unfo yeah, unfortunately, pirate pirate law aboard the ghost so ship requires. Have to tell him this. Yeah, you have to tell him. You have to ask oh, his consent, shit. basically. So you could lie to him. Or you could tell him the truth. You could try and strike an alliance with him if you wanted and spit split the booty. I just like to say I never once attacked one of your members. I'm just saying, just point that out there. <laughs> That's a good point. That's In a fact, point. we're going to um, say instead of all members, we just need a majority. So three out of <laughs> three out of five need to agree. That makes it more interesting for uh, diplomacy and stuff. So can I can just bullshit this and see if who falls along? Yeah, see if he wants to follow on. You could you could try and strike a deal with him, where you could lie to him. It's up to you. Um, I'll cut you in half. Half. And what? We, we, we need to kill one of these as well, so it's at least half of us say yes. Uh, well, uh, do we need a majority, don't we? Uh, we do. You do need a majority, since uh, I am on the ship as well. <laughs> yes. Is um, is Corin on the ship? He's still there. Isn't he's he? yeah. He's up. Oh no, is he not? No, oh, I don't think he's made it back yet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, so like everyone's on the ship but my team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So well, uh, we split halfway. We kill one of these guys and we do the ship. Well, you see, I I'm standing here completely, nearly completely naked, by the way. Just, yeah, just of course, yeah. And also, um, Tall Squall is currently seeing everyone else getting oiled up. He thinks it's a bodybuilding competition and rips off his shirt. Uh, indeed, <laughs> we <was>. have. <laughs> We have just hit 30 <laughs> followers, which means another viewer oh, decision. No. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, indeed. So um, let's, oh, let's make it happen. Um, so underneath this line in the chat, you guys know what to do. For us, some ideas as to what could happen next. It really could be anything. Let's get some ideas rolling, and we'll see what happens to the, uh, the crew of the ghost ship. So back in negotiation land, it looks like Master D and Sebastian, the blue and purple team, are getting uh, together whilst the red team and the green team are not currently on board of the idea to, to go underneath. Um, I'm on the ship. Yep, I mean, yeah. you're currently not on board the idea rather than the Ms. actual... Master, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Master, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fighter for, for women's rights and feminism. Um, and I believe that if you allow us to still exist and be free with on the ship and... Give us like ten percent of the cut. I will be on board for sinking the ship, but the freedom cannot be negotiated. We'll just give him the freedom. I, I don't even know what he's talking about anymore with this freedom. He just he just keeps saying freedom. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to work it in because just you know, there's there's also some turning away and talking to him. Uh, 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 you know. I'm gonna be fair. Uh, we're gonna split it three ways if you're in this question, and uh, we'll kill Dennis, and then we'll dive. <laughs> do you really want? Do you really want to try and test that? Yes. I mean, you saw how you saw how, er how earlier I took down Corin. It's free again. Now, now, unless I've got boys' school. Don't make me bring him out. I will. I believe I also saw your pet Kraken uh, die earlier, didn't, and, didn't you? and my and my own crew, and my own crew has come back to life. Now you forget one very important fact. What's that? that Kraken truly wants to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I truly wants to die. 
Well, so. It, so so it seems like there's a freeway deal between purple, blue, and green at this point. And red team, you guys are being left out. Thanks to Monkey for the host, my friend. So, well, why don't we just like kick them all off the ship right now? I mean, with all the three of us combined, we outnumber them. So just yeah. kick them off. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I, I mean, like it all, and we can go back and get Corrin because if he's still alive. I don't think he is. But we can say that we lost the booty. He's just drunk and partying <laughs> at this point. <laughs> all right, so that's that's purple team. So you guys seal the deal. Pirate shake is his word. Um, so you guys seal the deal on purple's turn. So there's an alliance currently going on. Orange team and Corrin, you guys see three of them, you know, blue, purple, and green, just shaking hands aboard the ship uh, and go towards to start sinking it whilst the red team are left, you know, about to have to fight them off, basically. So what are you guys doing other than thanking Tiny Picket for falling? Welcome, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Well, I suppose that's that then. I kind of look over because this was described as a fortified island. Yes. So I imagine there's cannons over yonder. <laughs> exactly. It's like, well, they're all on the ship. We're all here, boys. What do you say? We just blow them up, and we can f f draw, we can die for the booty later. Yeah, we don't have to wear any goddamn corsets. <laughs> so we're getting sweaty. Come from that booty. All right then. So, um, give me, uh, whew, give me a perception check to spot the cannons uh, and to uh, make sure your crew are, are fighting. <laughs> Uh, orange team, get man the cannons, everybody, and fire towards the ghost ship to take it down. Let me know what you guys are up to. <laughs> so I see the cannons, but I think they're just <laughs> statues or something. How, how can you roll so badly? <laughs> Every roll. Why is are there just, so many bad rolls? <laughs> Every roll is just worse than the is next. Is this some kind of modern art piece? <laughs> Good lord. So yeah, you try and. Uh, you, you do fire some cannons out towards the ghost ship. Uh, you, you certainly do achieve that. Um, but at the same time, uh, you guys are struggling with uh, with actually hitting um, as uh, Edgen's on the cannons screaming, to the cannons! Uh, Rogue uh, Rogue are rolling the four again, my man. It's, 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 not so, it's not so great for the orange team. I don't think any of the orange team have rolled anything good ever. Um, at, at this point, it's been pretty... <laughs> well, no, hamster, when Hamster was on orange, Hamster went for the eyes with a net 20. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, but now he's gone. He's oh dear lord. So uh, get voting in this straw poll, guys. Um, but at the very least, it looks like the orange team own an island at this point, um, and a party island at that. So you never know. There might be some more booty within the uh, within the houses that you guys haven't yet found. Um, so. All right, so that's oh, Corrin. Looks like Eden rolled a net twenty. Oh damn, Eden with a net twenty. So, so uh, in that case, he has taken out a portion of the ship, and more so than just that, there's someone is gonna take a hit, guys. Let's get the rolling going here. Fog in goes down. Ah, oh, fog in is now fog out. Um, as uh, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the cannonball just launches itself as Edge and Fire. <clears throat> Straight towards the ghost ship, and a cannonball just tears itself down, uh, taking away Fog in uh, from the crew um, as he flies off into the waters with a Wilhelm scream. Ah! Uh, perfect. It That's what you get for making us wear corsets. <laughs> <laughs> it was an option. <laughs> <laughs> you seemed really up for it at the time. <laughs> so, um, Red Team, you guys are. Your backs to a corner. Um, you guys are uh, you're pinned at the moment with blue, green, and purple all about to take you guys down. Purple has a plunder, and they're going to split it three ways apparently. So red team, Captain Denif, what are your orders? Well, I get. Uh, what do you think, men? I gave the order earlier. I shall give it again. No quarter. We take this ship. And if Corrin is still around, perhaps we'll let him aboard. <laughs> All right. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps we will. <laughs> so it's going to be a pretty difficult set of rolls here. So Red Team, you guys are going to have to do some pretty good exclamation point rolls in chat if you're going to want to pull anything off here. And Denif, please give me some attack rolls as well, my man. 
Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. And thank you to Bird vs. Plane, who donates £5 and says, The spirit of my torch corpse empowers you. Magic surge for Captain Sebi. We'll get to that in just a second here, my friend. Thank you, Bird. Appreciate that, I just man. rolled an 18. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Let's get some rolls in from the red team. We're going to polymorph into a T-Rex. Don't we all? Um, <laughs> let me give Bird some money. Here we go. Let me give uh, Stella. He's owed some gold as well as... Uh, another K. Who else do I owe gold? Ah, Calbies, of course. There we go. Um, so, um, yes, you guys um, see that uh, the Denif is beginning to, to, to make some pretty good punches here with his, well, with his sword, I suppose. Um, and uh, getting, uh, taking down some of your, uh, the crew. But we've got a roll, let's see, here from... Da, 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 da. I've ten rolls a nine, not too good. It's going down. Uh, we've got a roll from Super Wasp King on a five, not so good either. Uh, a run that one from Girl Wonder. So the only person, you guys are just um, fighting desperately for your lives as uh, blue, green, and purple are fighting you guys off. Uh, and whilst. Most of you guys survive with your lives. Um, unfortunately, it looks like for Girl Wanda, she's taken a bad hit and she's falling back into the, the drink. Um, as a, uh, being stabbed by one of the blue team. Um, and you guys, the red team, have been pushed off the ghost ship uh, as the, uh, the numbers, the overwhelming numbers of the red, green, and... Uh, sorry, uh, purple, green, and blue team have seen you guys off the ship currently, so unfortunately for you guys, you're left off the ship, um, and it's time for the freedom turn. Um, so, uh, Mirak. You guys are alone on the ship, you're supposedly meant to split this 30-30, all you have to do is kind of activate the, uh, the underwater function of the ship by going to the, the, the wheel of the ship. Okay, so first of all, the VD is looking very interesting. Second of all, um, the I've sort of got my flint lock out now. Uh, uh -huh. Now I store it, it's not. It, it, let's just say it looks it looks like I've got more than one gun under the uh, under the white whitey whiteys. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. As a you know, I, I draw it out and I sort of you know begin to step towards the uh, the the old hound. Okay. I, all agreed on this, right? For freedom? Yeah, 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 sure. You, you can have all the freedom you want. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you said 10% of the booty, right? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's good. That's good, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Master, <laughs> Master D, that's good, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah cool. As, um, you know, I, I say I, because that's my code word for the of thinking course. of a switch. All right. Towards, uh, yeah, you pull a big kind of boom, chunky lever, and you guys begin to kind of start submerging yourselves down into the drink. You grab onto something to hold onto it, and you see that we see the ghost ship just going down into the ocean as blue, green, and purple have uh, escaped, leaving red and orange on their own. However, uh, at this point, we're going to bring our view decision number two, and Greybeard returns with the Mega Kraken to attack the ship. So just as you guys go underwater, you feel the huge, slimy tentacles of the Mecha Kraken just grabbing onto your ship and thrusting you guys back up to the surface. You guys all come doused back onto the water as Captain Greybeard says, Time for my plunder! Uh, and uh, you go for you, it's kind of surrounded by this Kraken which is slowly crushing you guys. You're going to have to find a way to get it off your ship before you can escape. So, Blue Team, Sebastian, how are you guys going to get rid of Captain Greybeard, <laughs> escape with a plunder, and get rid of the Mecha Kraken? Oh, freak. Well, firstly, he doesn't deserve any of it because he did fuck all to get it. Uh, <laughs> but he has a Mecha Kraken, so, <laughs> so what can we do? Um, in that case, I'm going to um, order my crew to stand their ground and fight it off while I do something incredibly stupid. Um, pull out two daggers, start running up this like Mecha Kraken, jump and then try and plunge two daggers into Greybeard. Take it, take oh, kill, shit. take the head off before it All even right. so does anything. Blue team, let us know what you are doing. Push back to the afterlife. Yeah, give me some uh, exclamation point rolls if you're attacking. 
Uh, and as well, for you to jump and to attack Captain Greybeard, Sebastian, okay. please do give me an attack roll here. And also, you've got a uh, Wild Magic Surge from Burns. Oh, cool. What do I do with that? Uh, roll me a D10K. Oh, D10K. Okay, oh, do you yeah. want me to roll that first? Uh, yeah, roll me a D10K first of all for Burns. There we go. 4,833. Uh, 4,833. Let's go down the depths of the tavern face again. The birds for this one. 4,833 is looking pretty good. Um, target, well, one of Target's limbs is made of porcelain, but functions normally. <laughs> uh, it's got to be it's got to be a pirate leg right it's got to be like a, it's got to be yeah instead of a peg leg you've got a yeah. porcelain leg i demand only the finest um in that case can i jump and then drop kick my porcelain leg into his face <laughs> into Greybeard's face and like kind of put it through his because it's awfully sharp at the end and then skewer yeah, his face absolutely give me that attack roll to porcelain right. leg Greybeard. Porcelain leg attack. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with my porcelain uh, leg. I think it's a plus five. Welcome back, Vargan Sales again, my man. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen, the perfect number. So as you launch your porcelain leg, and let's see what your guys are doing, uh, Kitty draws her sword and starts to hack at the slimy tentacles, so Kitty's fighting away was now leave is like, fuck you, Kraken. Um, oh, Captain, my Captain, help us. Um, as you guys are uh, fighting away pretty well against these uh, Kraken tentacles, your Captain just launches his pointy uh, porcelain leg up into the beard of Greybeard, and you see it just gonna go through his neck, and he's like, oh, 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 but I need the booty, as he falls down onto the floor, uh, dead, after Captain Sebastian has downed the mighty Captain Greybeard. None thought this could be done. Now you're a, a hero in your own right, my friend. Um, Ooh, does that mean they, his crew follow me now? Ooh, Romy, a, uh, Romy, uh, what did you say to them to attempt to, uh, to put them onto your side here? Um, I say, along, I, I've killed your captain, and I've got the booty. So why not? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I think that'd be a persuasion. <laughs> yeah, persuasion check, yeah. I don't know. I, what, what's my persuasion? Because I just got a random one here. Oh, I'm pretty sure my persuasion's kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 15. 15. It's not bad. Nice. Cool. Um, 15 is it, it's, it's pretty good. Let's see. What do you guys... We've got applause from Calby. We've got hail the great mighty captain. Oh, captain, my captain. So uh, some of them come over towards your side. Some of them don't. Uh, so you've got, you know, maybe like another 10 crew or so. You're like, I'm like, arr, and fight for you. See, Don't see why not. And then another one's like, well, I'll be captain now of Greybeard's ship. Everyone's like, damn it, we should have thought about that first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, sorry, you, you're dedicated to blue now. You don't go, no backseat. Someone, no backseat. someone just like puts on the captain's hat and he's like, it's me now. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, should have got to it first, goddamn. Um, perfect. So let's see blue team's turn. Purple team, uh, you still got a Kraken on your ship. What are you guys doing to deal with that situation? <clears throat> now, um, it was like surrounding, she's like holding it in tentacles and like munching on absolutely, it and crushing it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, is there enough crew on the ship and enough guns on the ship to man all the guns and fire them all at the same time? Yeah, you could fire it. Yeah, absolutely. You could fire like the, the broadside cannons to try and get us off. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, give me. Right, all the guns. Ooh, just, just roll me a straight D20 for this one. <laughs> Once you're blue, you can't undo. <laughs> Playing on promotion. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take it. Well, that's how Cleons uh, get promoted. They just uh, kill the captain. <laughs> pretty much, right? Yeah, um, actually, it is. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> so we're we're pretty much doing a doing a Klingon here today. So uh, I like it. Um, so a seventeen is pretty damn good. And as you see that the uh, the captain um, Greybeard has been taken down by. Uh, Sebastian, he's now got crew members. The the Kraken just kind of falls back down into the water after the boom, 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 boom.
boom, boom, of all your cannons goes off and firing smoke uh, into the midst of the uh, the air at this point. Um, and you seem to have freed yourself from the Mecha Kraken for now. Uh, Corrin and the Orange Team. Orange Team, make yourselves known. What are you guys doing at current? You see a Kraken taking down the ghost ship, but I seem to be fighting it off at this point, and all the plunder's on there. Do you guys want to stay with your party island, or do you want to try and get some of the plunder, or just fire again upon them? Well, I, I, think, I think it's entirely appropriate that we blow them up so we could take the plunder after they're all dead. Because they did try and kill me, and they made me wear the damn corset. I don't like the corset. <laughs> All right. Well, um, that 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 seems fair. Um, so, um, fifteen to five, Paul Sebastian. He uh, fireball just flies past your face. And thank you to notice me, senpai XP for following. Welcome to the Avenger, my friend, your gentleman and a scholar. So, you want to fire the cannons? Is that it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Roll me a uh, just perception check to spot for your crew again. <laughs> So so I have a ah. negative one on this. I believe. I believe. Hey, 13. 13. 13 ain't bad. All right. So um, it's actually... A lot better than I've been getting. I think it's probably the best roll you've had all day at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because it's over 10. And you... Uh, yeah, you... Uh, you fire out the cannons, uh, and uh, several of the crew uh, aboard the ship are taken down. We're going to make a roll on the table of doom. Someone is going to fall. Let's see who it is. It's going to be Costello goes down. Oh, no. I believe from the purple team, Costello uh, takes a hit from one of the, the cannons, uh, and you uh, you fall back down. Will you get back up again? Who knows? Um, so, yes, you... Uh, you see a, and Costello just, ah, the medic is fl back down into the drink. Is she dead? We don't know, but she's certainly in the drink at this point, and it's not a good situation for her. So, uh, excellent work from the orange team there of Edgen with a 15. Good, good roll, my friend. Edgen's pretty like a ma like a beast on the cannons at this point. He's just firing over and over, getting scoring hits, and it's the turn of the red team. You guys are in the water at this point with the Kraken in the water with you guys, and you're off the ship, so you're kind of stuck in a bit of a situation at this point. What are the red team doing, Captain Denful? Denful. They... Denful? What the? I don't know. It's late. I'm going to question that later. <laughs> I'm going to order the... Well, first off, the order is to get to shore, because I'd rather not be in waters uh, with a kraken. And... Yeah, right now, yeah, until we get to shore... Uh, shore. Sure. You're well, uh, further orders will come, will come by once we get on land. <laughs> All right, so so let's say you guys make it back to land. What are you guys doing uh, once you swim back onto shore? Once we get the back to shore, um, is Corin any would is Corin anywhere nearby? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Corin's in like the bunkers, firing his cannons. You can you can uh, get towards him if you want it. Okay, well I do want to get uh, to get over towards him, but uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna rip off my cor uh, corset, get the widest part I can find, and kind of. Tie it to my sword, holding it as as a, kind of a white flag, showing to him that I do not mean any harm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, RH team, how do you respond to the white flag of the red team coming towards you guys? Captain Corrin, do you, do you issue orders towards them? Because the red team are carrying um, white flag in towards let's you. Let's see... You, trust you know you want to. That's the guy who, who nearly killed you, by the way. He has his own command in chat because he's that evil. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hey, I'm, I, I'm a paladin. I'm a paladin. <laughs> he's the guy who killed you. Yes, but you're the one that almost killed me. I was aiming for the other guy. <laughs> you failed to do something twice. Hit him twice. <laughs> Same. I'll let him approach. Okay. So what do you do as you approach here, uh, red team? I'm gonna approach him. I'm gonna let my. I'm gonna let everybody in, uh, um, in my crew know not to attack. 
because let's face it, at this point, we're pretty much SOL as much as Corrin is possibly at this moment. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to walk over to him, put my sword down, and and tell him, look, let's be, let's be honest. At this moment, they have the booty. They're currently be the ones getting fucked by that Kraken. At the moment, we have Diddly. I think it'd be best for us. Don't I have Diddly? I got an island. Okay, you have an island. <laughs> you uh, you obviously have the better hand at this point. But I but I also have men to offer. So, what say that? Uh, what say since they decided to try and sink the ship and run away with the booty? Because they, they tried to kill me, mate. At this point. Well, yeah, pirates. Yes. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Well, fifty-fifty. If not, how about this? I give you, you get you get the better half. I'll be willing to give you the better half of the booty. <laughs> The bigger booty. The bigger half. <laughs> or I could just kill you and then blow the ship up and then get the booty and the island. You can keep the ship. Let's face it. You could probably do more with the ghost ship more than I can. Besides, oh, we uh, there, you have a whole island of ships. It's true. The ghost ship could be your flagship. Think about it, mate. Captain think Corrin. About Ca think about it. Captain Corrin. I'll think about it. Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. Commodore. I'll Popo, even give you a hand. <laughs> Commodore <laughs> Corrin. With a nice big hat. I noticed, uh, I, I, I didn't notice that black beard, uh, that gray beard's uh, hat was quite bigger than ours. You could take his as well if he's not dead. Think about it, mate. You're getting the better. You're getting the better deal. I'll let you have as much of a of the greater half as you as you, as you wish, so long as me and my crew lives. I'll think about it and I'll let you know on my turn. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Interesting. Dear, Interesting. Good. 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 All right, then, so it's a turn of green team. Green team, or what are you guys doing? Johnny Depp is the DM. Um, first, first of all, I'm going to pull out uh, my first spin lock and, uh, and uh, shoot hamster in the leg for the <laughs> betraying me. Damn. I, it's unlawfully free. Wow. Wow. Cool. That, is, that is pretty cool. banned from being on the free team. That hamster. <laughs> He's banned, wow. Yeah. Um, Savage. As as we are, as I am going to order the entire free team to go into the final free form as we remove the tighty whities and jump <laughs> <laughs> with our donors free in the air. Mm -hmm. It's on now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. To wow. take this and sail it off because we do not need the ghost ship, but we can freely take what ship we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel uncomfortable. All right, so everybody, slowly <laughs> <laughs> backing away. Everyone's like, "What the fuck is wrong with this guy?" Like, oh wait, what? God. Oh my god, <laughs> this, this guy's fucking crazy. Um, roll me a performance check, green team. Everybody in green team, unleash your dongers if you'd be so uh. kind. And for such an occasion as this, I'll bring out my own, even if it is blue. Give it a little, give it a little whip around for you guys. There we go. <laughs> Let's bring it 16. back. 16! One off the perfect number, the number of the donger. Um, you, you just... Um, so you want to launch yourselves where exactly? Onto Greybeard's ship and take that instead. All right, cool. So you take Greybeard's ship uh, and, uh, yeah, the, a lot of the crew are like, uh, Wow, well, they're naked! That's scary! Um, and... Uh, <laughs> It's a final form of freedom. It's, it certainly seems to be. Um, 
They are gone. Um, very. I mean, they're like they're like oh, oh, okay. Let's just follow this crazy fucker. Um, and green team in the name of freedom retreat. Um, he's mega stripping. Um, <laughs> everyone's just getting down to it uh, as you guys land on Greybeard's ship and just take it over. You guys are beginning to sail away, not with any booty, not with any plunder, but with freedom. Yeah, you do have a free ship. It is Blue Team's turn. Um, so, what are you guys up to currently? Um, well, um, I'm getting off Greybeard's ship, but I'm going to take his beard. I'm going to sh- take his beard because, you know, that's going to be a collector's item in this time. <laughs> so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that off and bring it over to our ship. Is the Kraken off the ghost ship yet? Uh, it is, yeah. It's in the, it's in the water currently. It's sail away. Or, like, full sails and just cheese it. Sail away with possible. me, honey. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, so, blue team, man, the, the main brace, and uh, I died naked, said Kelby. That's the best way to die, buddy. What are you talking about? Why would you want to be, why would you want to be clothed when you died? I mean, like, <laughs> this thing about the possible implications of being naked yeah. and dying. So, mm-hmm. um, and um, I, I want to go to Marsady and um, just go, Marsady, help us get the hell out of here. 50-50 booty. We're fine. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So it looks like the blue team and the purple team are working together to get out of here. So both of you, um, Mo, what the, what the fuck, Mo, Mo, you meant to be here like three hours ago. What are you, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> I said 4 p.m. Eastern, goddammit. Uh, so blue team and purple team. <laughs> <laughs> Both roll me, uh, just athletics checks, just like, you know, pull, oaring, uh, pull, uh, you know, rigging and stuff like that. Squall got naked back when he thought it was a bodybuilding competition, but in an act of mutiny, he jumps into water, swims to some nice beachfront property on the island. <laughs> can I, um, nice. can I possibly use my acrobatics, because I'm swinging from the ropes and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah, sure thing, yeah. Yay! <laughs> Still not gonna help, I can see it now. Don't worry, but... Fort. Momo, we'll do we'll do same time next week. Okay, does that work for you? Same time, it's like four p.m. Eastern next week will be great. Um, okay, cool. Um, so a fourteen and a ten. So you guys are making some pretty slow progress here, which gives Captain Corrin one last chance to fire some cannons. I'm hoping my crew helps out because <laughs> the captains suck. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna sink us now. Just what just happened? I know. It's it's really okay, Mo. Don't don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. We'll we'll do the same thing next week. It's fine. Um, so uh, Captain Corrin, you've got one last volley to fire. Can you roll me a perception check just to spot for your crew uh, as they are disappearing here? And we shall see if Sid can roll anything higher than a ten uh, this time around. So just one perception check for you, Sid, and we'll see. She can fire off and get any last members of the crew here. All right, let's see if we can do this. No. <laughs> uh, oh boy, no! You fire, <laughs> you fire into the sky, uh, <laughs> uh, like a, a celebration. Uh, as you guys, uh, red and orange, have the island to yourselves, uh, and. Uh, purple and blue you guys are sailing off with the plunder and green team you have your own ship of greybeard ship so only thing which you really need to decide well a couple of things actually what happens between the orange and the red team do they live in harmony or do they fight with one another or and also green and uh sorry blue and purple we'll get that in a second so corin what is your decision on the red team here well they're trying to scarb it off with the booty i think we should May lay our differences aside so we can kill them together. I agree. All right, so so you guys work together. All right, it's a happy happy kind of ending for you guys in terms of working together, living on this island. So congratulations to the red and the orange team for successfully owning a party island uh, and uh, having a defensible location for the rest of your um, <laughs> adventures. Let's, let's raise a drink to you guys if you guys were part of the orange or red team. Get your, your drinks out. There we go. Uh, all right, so... Blue and purple team, do you guys trust one another to split the booty fairly as you agreed to? I I have no reason to doubt Master D with splitting the booty. 
I mean, how would you like to do? I mean, would you like, uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind being captain. Would you like to be my first officer? Yeah, 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 I'll do that, yeah. I'm quite happy with you that, yes. Yeah, I haven't we'll... stepped in the back yet, so... <laughs> sure. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, okay, there we go then. Yeah, we will split the booty very f equally, and we now act and now the ghost ship actually has a captain and a first officer. There you go, perfectly. And finally, the green team sailing away to victory and, and freedom. Um, most, most importantly, freedom. Um, you guys are... Um, yeah, you're... Proud of you guys. Uh. Yes, we are painting. The, order, the first order of business is to paint the sails with giant bombs. <laughs> That's good. That is one scary pirate ship. Imagine that. Imagine that pirate ship coming up to you, the crew buck naked. You yes. know, it's yeah. Beautiful that is scary. Yeah. Beautiful moment, really. And uh, Tall School says, Squall has a nice outdoor gym and a nude resort on the island. Of course, of course. So uh, to loads of you, all of you have been successful, actually. Even if uh, any a few of you guys came away with the actual plunder, um, you've, you've managed to had a, have a successful pirating trip. I raised drinks to you all um, for this. However, uh, so as we're wrapping up this game here, I did say that we'd give away a couple of Steam Keys to folks. So I've got some Steam Keys for lead and gold here. So I'm going to pick three winners from you guys. So if you... Uh, all you have to do to be entered is to be a follower. So if you haven't followed yet, hit that follow button and do so. And you have to be you have to be active in the chat within the past like ten minutes. So say something in the chat, uh, or raise a drink, or whatever. Um, it's a rare frost at the greenies. <laughs> Checks the galley for food and finds none because ghosts don't eat. Oh goddamn! Apparently you can't dance. Goddamn! That's the that's the worst. Uh, so say something in the chat. We'll give you guys a minute to enter into that. Whilst we're doing that, let's go around and thank our players for playing with us. And where can we find your projects and the like? So um, the start of redundant UK down below. So my friend, thoughts on the session? Uh, and of course, um, where can we find you on the internet? Um, I really enjoyed it. It was great fun. Uh, there was a lot of role playing. Um, everyone in the team, you know, all the captains had different ideals and different. Eventually, we all wanted the booty, but they, sure. everyone adapted really well to the situation. And I loved the interaction with the chat. Nice. All you blue guys out there, I salute you. Thank you so very much, Kelby, uh, who died in the line of duty, will always be remembered. Of course. Um, but yeah, it was it was fantastically. It was just really great fun. Um, for myself, uh, you can find me. I do stream on Twitch, uh, which is uh, at uh, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash redundant UK. Um, and I stream basically on mainly story games like Dragon Age Inquisition. But I have been obsessed with Battlefield One an awful lot. So nice. yeah, I've been thinking about picking that one myself actually. Oh, it's Literally so good. good. I was it's watching. So I was good. watching Sid play actually on YouTube the other day, and I was like, "Fuck, it looks cool." It's <laughs> um, awesome. All right, cool. Good guy, Pie. Thoughts on the session, and where can we find you, my man? Um, I felt very free. Um, it's the first order of business today. I uh, had great fun. Enjoyed the chat interaction. Um, really great people in chat. All of you, really free. Um, except from you, hamster. Uh, <laughs> you <shall> be <laughs> um, I. <clears throat> I do stream on Twitch myself. I'm a bit of a, I'm, I'm an artist. Oh. Um, so you'll catch me doing some digital art, some model building here and there. So. Nice. Sounds I good. Do. All right, there's uh, the link there. I think Google Pi. There you go. Awesome stuff, my man. Thank you for joining us, uh, Brian Crimson Phoenix. Thoughts on the session, and um, where can we find you, my man? Well, my thoughts was uh, it was actually a lot of fun. I honestly did not expect a pirate game i no. wasn't sure i was actually honestly expecting another west march game but turning around the pirate i i actually wish i had a different character for this if i had known i probably would have made a i think i would have made a way better character but otherwise i think i think it was quite interesting having a paladin who wasn't just a pirate uh aboard the the ship made for some interesting uh diplomacy uh, but where can we find you bro uh, you'll be able to find me at twitch.tv slash crimson underscore phoenix 91. I stream on there every now and again. I'll play in any sort of games, really. I'm actually getting into Final Fantasy XIV, a MMORPG game. And actually, if you don't mind another plug, sure, Armstrong, my, uh, the group I'm with, Armstrong Security Solutions, actually bound is 
getting ready to do another uh, bit of a tabletop uh, D&D thing. We're nice. actually doing 5e this time, Ooh. the GURPS. Um, and I'm actually slightly afraid because supposedly – the guy I know who's doing the GM, he's doing it through a book. He, he's got a book for the campaign. And supposedly the evil main bad guy is overpowered as shits. Nice. And we're starting at level one, so <laughs> <laughs> if, you'd right. like to come, if you'd like to come join, uh, it, the stream for that is twitch.tv slash and nice. don't kill me on the name. Let's ass play. Dear Lord. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Join that for join that for uh, <laughs> D&D and or Star Trek uh, tabletop. All right. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. We've got some great feedback. I uh, love stream so much. Chat interaction. Top stream I've seen. Oh, that's awesome, guys. I'm really glad you enjoyed this stuff. I, I will continue to do this kind of thing where we'll pick factions each week if you'd like to. Uh, if you'd like to, just let me know. Say, like, yes or something in the chat because uh, that'd be good to know. Sid Alpha, my friend, um, where can we find you on the internet? First of all, what did you do, uh, figure the session? Did you enjoy your time here today? I I really don't like wearing cool sits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought this was awesome. This was definitely a little bit different than uh, than what I've been accustomed to, especially with online uh, role playing with table t- uh, with roll twenty and everything like that. But yeah. the audience interaction and everything like that was really awesome, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I really did. This was fantastic, and especially everyone on the cast here have been fabulous and yeah i enjoy it i thought i was going to enjoy it i didn't realize i was going to enjoy it this much but yeah. other than that yeah i'm i'm a youtuber you can go to youtube.com slash sit alpha and check me out for video game news reviews first impressions at speaking of battlefront uh battlefront battlefield one i was my mouth always my brain always translates yeah. those two weirdly for some reason i actually do have a review that'll be coming out on that this evening so nice. keep your eyes open for that and you can also follow me on the twitters and the facebooks and i do have a patreon as well it's all they're all slash sit alpha so you can find me on any of those and please do go check it out spread the word that i'm there i awesome. appreciate it awesome and refix finally my friends last but not least uh did you enjoy the session what do you think about it and where can we find you these days uh, now, I had like not a minute of warning because I think you missed that I was going to play today. I think we mixed, I think we must have mixed up which week we were doing. Yeah, that's probably yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, the one minute prep <laughs> that was interesting, but uh, yeah. it worked. Um, it is. I tried to make it weird, and I think it worked. Honestly, yeah, I like that. It was, it, 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 was, it was hilarious. It was, I, I, I don't even know <laughs> to describe it, but it was, it, it was, it was weird. <laughs> it was weird in a way. Take it, I'll go with it. It works. Um, I will just find you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can find me at Twitter, uh, at Refix. I uh, write fanfic and campaigns for uh, D&D 5e and for Shadowrun. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, before we uh, before we head off here, let's do these uh, skip away. So let's have a roll and let's see who's won some stinkies of lead and gold. So let's uh, let's see who's got it. Uh, first one is Ninja Kitty 2014. Yay. Congratulations, blue team. blue team winner there. Let me. Uh, what I'm gonna do to contact you guys is I'll whisper you guys on Twitch later on tonight. Uh, in a minute, let me just write down these names so that I do not lose you guys. There we go. We've got Ninja Kitty. 2014. I'll be in touch very soon. All right, winner one. Congratulations there. Um, what, what? I won? Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, one for arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you deserve it. Number two goes to Crimson Phoenix. Brian, you win. Oh my God, Brian. Well done. You're a winner. You're a winner. You didn't win. The, uh, the, the booty is still a winner to us. Um, and Lee Ford goes to Forever Player. Josh, my old friend, um, who has been with the stream for fucking forever, like week one. <laughs> um, thanks so much, my man. You guys, Ninja Kitty uh, and Crimson Phoenix, and of course, Forever Player, you guys, congratulations on winning a Steam Key. I'll get those to you over tonight so you can uh, have a play of them. That should be cool. Um, actually, there we go. 
perfect. Alrighty, so congrats guys, sorry if you didn't win them, but uh, hopefully you had a fun time here tonight. Uh, I think we'll be doing these kind of Steam Keys uh, giveaways each week for a sale of this. It seems like quite fun to have a bit of booty reward for you guys. At the end it might be Steam Keys, it might be an RPG book, uh, it might be some like Magic the Gathering packs or something like that. Uh, companies usually send me a bunch of shit like I don't have anything to do with, so um, I don't see why I shouldn't just give it to you guys who might play games like that, I don't know. Um, and I barely play Steam games anyway, so there you go. Thank you guys for um, for playing with us. Thank you guys for being such a great crew. Indeed, I think uh, one of the best crew a captain could have hoped for in, in any of these crews here today. Um, if you enjoyed the show, hit that follow button and join us. Uh, I'm Will, in Canada Roleplay. I'm here five nights a week, ten shows every week, 150 hours of D&D every single month, and a 24-hour D&D stream every single month. However, what you might be expecting the 24-hour stream to be this Saturday, the 29th, like it usually is, it's actually going to be pushed back a week because I'm going to a wedding on Saturday, so it's going to be November the 5th, uh, which means that we're going to have two 24-hour D&D streams in one month, technically, um, but it's unfortunately something which I can't avoid, and I want to do it on a Saturday, so you guys can always turn up on Saturday. So, uh, not this Saturday, but next for the next 24-hour D&D stream, so it gives us plenty of time to organize that. Who shall we raid? Let's go raid someone that we like. Um, someone that we haven't raided before. Let's go, let's go, let's go find someone. Um, what is a raid? Uh, an encounter raid is a hashtag encounter raid, and then either an ERP rock or slash you could have a smork, if you prefer. Um, and we're going to go into that person's chat, spam them, and uh, see what they say. <laughs> see what they say. See how they feel being graded. Exactly, yeah. See, see what happens, basically. Um, so, let's go. Um, oh, this goes cool. Uh, Oba B, she plays D&D on Thursdays as well. Um, and I haven't gotten a chance to raid her recently. So, we're going to go over to Oba B, uh, her chat. Um, I think it's Oh Baby is how she says it. I'm not sure. I've only like watched the stream a few times. Oh Baby. Uh, so, we're going to go over to that chat after I host her. And we're going to do a hashtag encounter raid. Um, so, go and spam in her chat here in a second. But uh, I'll see you guys again on Sunday. I might be streaming a little bit tomorrow. I'll tweet if I am. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all from me here in Encounter Roleplay and from Redundant, Good Guy Pie, Crimson Phoenix, Sid Alpha, and Refix. We thank you guys for being such a great crew and we'll see you guys very soon. Until then, try not to roll too many net ones because we want to be here laughing when you do. Let's go get that Encounter Raid on and I'll see you guys over there in just a few minutes time. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Thank you. See ya. <laughs>